Hello, hungry viewers, <laughs> and welcome to a one-of-a-kind adventure that will be as heart-pounding as it is mouth-watering. Uh, I'm Sam Regal, and if you're tuning into Critical Role tonight, just know that several of our players are at New York Comic Con. So our new friends at the Wendy's Corporation stepped up and offered us a... <laughs> Yes, these words don't make any sense. <laughs> but they stepped up and made us a medium rare opportunity oh, to play a new wow. tabletop RPG system that they themselves developed called Feast of Legends. Uh, yes, Feast of Legends has a ridiculously comprehensive guide booklet that just came out today. Uh, it's packed with classes, mechanics, entire adventures, all themed to our favorite food and beverages from Wendy's. If this sounds crazy to you, Yes, <laughs> we thought the exact same thing, but Wendy sent us their rule book and this thing is a legit RPG system. In fact, you can check it out right now at bit.ly slash Feast of Legends. So I, being our advertiser in chief, uh, jumped at this chance. I will be GMing the game tonight for four sizzling hot players, Liam O'Brien, Matthew Mercer, I'm going to the wrong cameras. <laughs> Marisha Ray <laughs> and Ify Wadiway. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> uh, now, this is a brand new setting for all of us, so apologies uh, if we aren't 100% sure about any of the rules. <laughs> Tonight is about having a ridiculous time, coming up with hamburger puns, and enjoying a lot of free Wendy's food that just got <laughs> delivered a few minutes ago. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm going to rules lawyer the shit out of this game. <laughs> <laughs> also, we're going to try not to curse. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know. Uh, uh, also, big thanks to Jessica Nguyen for the amazing character art, which you may see soon or have seen. Anyway, uh, so players, if you're ready, let's dig in, shall we? And play <laughs> Feast of Legends! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Um, okay, let's get into this game, shall we? Uh, you four are warriors in the realm of Beef's Keep. Who's the <laughs> yes, <laughs> try to hold your laughter. What is um, <laughs> I don't know what's happening, Matt. I don't know. <laughs> The nations of Beef's Keep have been splintered over disagreements on how to treat their subjects. The United Clown Nations have led their people into a collective darkness known as the Deep Freeze. But while the borderlands may feel cold and desolate, you reside in one nation that remains a true bacon of hope, Fresh Tovia. Huh. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ah, Fresh Tovia, known for its comfortable seating, signature dishes, and red-headed ruler, Queen Wendy. As queen of Fresh Tovia, Wendy has clapped back at all attacks on her borders, maintaining her nation's integrity, even while my own integrity is quickly fading. <laughs> <laughs> We join uh, Fresh Tovia at a milestone. Queen Wendy has reigned for 50 years, and subjects from far and wide have gathered for this momentous occasion. They're celebrating with a festival, and the city circle is full of Beef's Keep's finest vendors, selling all your standard delicious Wendy's fare, like the kind you'll find right here at our table, as well as some experimental new carnival foods, like Asiago ranch-flavored cotton candy, Chili flavored funnel cake and baked potato baked potato fla flavored soda. <laughs> there are games, there are competitions, the streets are adorned are adorned with streamers in white, light blue, and red, and the people are amassing to hear Queen Wendy address her people. You four know this city circle well. You are all bunsmen, serving in the Royal Patty Patrol. Yes, bunsmen, sworn to defend the queendom at all costs. 
But you're sh- notes. <laughs> Don't write notes. Why am I writing you notes? will not need them. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yes, just write down Bunsman. I did. I did. <laughs> Bunsman Paddy uh, Patrol. But your Bunsman shift just ended, oh. so you are free to enjoy the festival as citizens. But beef for that, maybe you should... Oh, God. I'm sorry. It's going to be like this all night. <laughs> Guys, just roll with it. <laughs> Guys, roll. Uh, but before that, uh, you should introduce yourselves and describe your characters. Maybe... Maybe Marisha first, just I'm going to start oh, over sure, here and yes. go over. Hello, hello, I'm Antarctica, everyone's favorite ant, no relation needed. <laughs> and as you can see, I um, am pretty well connected in this city. I was actually a queen when Wendy's coronation mm. and her birth. <laughs> it was odd. Not sure why I was there. <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> and you are the order of the Frosty. Oh, frosty, couldn't you tell? <laughs> <laughs> Good oh, character don't choices. Don't make me sing, don't make me sing. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Liam, can you introduce and describe your character, please? Hey, my name is Snacks. I'm an adorable little nugget of a girl with three fun buns in my hair. I have five siblings, there were six of us. Oh, a, a six, six in a pack. A six pack, sure. Now order the nugget. <laughs> a six sneaky, piece. quick with my nugget bolas and my dipping sauces. <laughs> yep, <laughs> sure, sure, sure. <laughs> That's legit. That's legit. Uh, these are all real orders that you can find in this book. Uh, Matt, go ahead and introduce yourself and your character. <laughs> hey there. My name's Tweezel Grilden of the, uh, the family Grildens. We're, uh, former masters of the homestyle chicken sandwich order. <laughs> Protectors of the realm. Nothing is legitimate here right now. <laughs> it's we like crazy. to make sure the peace is taken care of, and, uh, our fellow warriors are kept standing and well fed as he pats his large, armored trunk of a torso as his curled, bushy beard and ever-present smile and missing tooth gleams through. Pleasure to meet y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Patrick War- Warburton vibe going on. Uh, Ify, could, could you uh, introduce yourself, please? <laughs> Why, yes! <laughs> Love it already. I'm Hog Wild, a very strong, juicy, tender man, a Pokemon. The Pokemon are our thick, juicy, and proud people. We are very thick. <laughs> We sweat grease. Yep, that's true. And we have grill marks. (laughs) I was the first of my kind to become a bunman. (laughs) And I'm very proud to stand before my race of bugmen. (laughs) And let all people of Freshtopia know that bugmen are not scary. We're loyal. (laughs) Heroic. Delicious, I hear. Very delicious. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, we're, that's please don't eat us, but we are very delicious. <laughs> all right, so you guys work together, you guard the city together, you uh, go on patrols all the time, you're, you're friends, you're familiar with each other. Um, and you just got off your shift. Uh, you're in the city circle. There's several familiar buildings around the circle that you recognize. There is uh, the Snacksmith, where basic provisions are sold. There is Wendy's Restaurant <laughs> and Inn. Uh, <laughs> there is the Royal, yeah, it's a restaurant named after the queen. Um, there's the Royal Gardens with their familiar golden statue of Emperor Dave Thomas. Uh, there's Love the, <laughs> well, I, yeah, yeah, I, I guess, I guess at some point he reigned. <laughs> he was an emperor, maybe. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Or is I, he like our god? I think a little. Is above. he our creator? I mean. God king? God king? Yes. Oh, yes. hell, god yes. king. Yes, like, <laughs> king, king, Tut, king Tut-esque. Like, I mean, he's, he's a god and, no, and a king. I have a lot of questions. Like, <laughs> There's there's food for us to eat that looks delicious, but we also look delicious. <laughs> and are made of food. And are made of food, yeah, partially. I spent, I spent a lot of time thinking about the socioeconomic issues of this kingdom, and I find it's best to just smile and keep walking. <laughs> is, is cannibalism an issue here in Fresh Ovia? We'll find out tonight. <laughs> um, there, uh, you guys walk past the Sossum Fountain, where Asiago Ranch spews forth from a spout, making its refreshing <laughs> <laughs> sound. 
and vendors and game booths all around. You um, you pass some uh, some game booths uh, on either side of the thoroughfare here. There is a game called, uh, there's the pig races are going on uh, next to you. There's a game called Biggie and Strong, which is sort of a, uh, a carnival sort of strength test game. There's a, a game called Fit a Fry, um, and there's a, a game called Going Four for Four. Um, uh, just just painting this this What's scene going for you. Four for four. Going four for four. Okay. Would you like to walk up? What and should I refer to you as, Sam? GM. I'm the WM. I'm, I'm the game master. <laughs> the game master. Hi. What's four for four, game master? Uh, well, are you gonna walk up and, and sure check it I out? Am. Okay. I <laughs> stand up on my tiptoes so I can see over the counter and see what's going on in here. Uh, as you walk up to the Going 4 for 4 uh, vendor, a lady named BBQ runs this one. Uh, uh, she explains, uh, oh, hello there, little 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 girl. Uh, are you, are you uh, a nugget? Are you a nugget? Careful, I'll cut you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you will. Well, um, uh, I, I, uh, welcome, welcome to 4 for 4. Uh, this is a simple dice game where you try to roll the highest number and uh, bet between rounds. It's very, very simple. <clears throat> All right, walk me through it. What do I have? Do I have to need to put some money down for this or what? Yes, uh, you all have, I think you start with five gold each. Um, uh, to, to bet in gold piece. I slap a gold down. <laughs> all right, let's, uh, is anyone else going to play? I will also slap a gold down. All right. Any well, other hold off. I, uh, my income as a bunsman isn't what it should be. No, I... <laughs> Okay. I slapped my gold down, thinking everyone else would. <laughs> I'm here to watch. I'm, just, I'm more of a supporter. Okay, you're just literally know, in my class. I'm just know I did it a, as a friendship. Don't gesture. worry, I got your back. All I got right. your back. All right. I slap my ah. gold down. I'm feeling slappy. Oh, now the peer pressure's kicking in. Fine, I'll put one down too. Oh, we got a ah. we got a full four for four game here. All right, uh, everyone, just take a D4 and. Uh, and I think I didn't really read off the books. <laughs> let's make up the rules. Uh, let's, let's, let's say you're playing against each other, and uh, let's say that uh, you're all gonna roll and bet and roll and bet. This is gonna happen four times. So first, first just, just roll a d4. Don't tell anyone what you rolled. Okay. Okay, okay. And uh, write down that number or remember it, because you're gonna add all these up, all right? I don't know. I don't know. I'm making this up. I should have. I should have read this part of the book. <laughs> um, and yeah, um, all right. Now, if you think that your number is strong and high, you can you can raise. You can bet now. We're gonna have a, a round of betting now. Go on, everyone. Uh, if you care to bet, you can. Now, I slap another goal down. All right. If you got you guys want to stay in the in the match, you have I to. I too use my thick, juicy finger to slap down <laughs> one more goal. It's very aggressive, <laughs> young young Bergerman. My uh, my long celebrated father of the night, uh, Benjamin the Bread, had taught me the dangers of gambling. I'm out. Yes, this is too rich for my. Frozen blood as well. All right. Well, I got five siblings, so I'm all in. <laughs> all right. Roll again. Uh, the two of you who are still in, I'm also rolling as the, as the dealer. All right. Would anyone care to, to raise or, uh, or, or anything? Uh, the dealer is going to raise one gold. Would you like to stay in? Or I slap a gold oh, down. Oh, boy. What about you, bacon boy? I pick a gold out of my... Loin cloth of bacon, and I drag it across my thick, lumpy, juicy, burgery body. Jesus. There's a piece of burger on it, and I flick it off. <laughs> transfixed. Not gonna I'd lie. Slam it down. Okay. That was, that was attractive. That was pretty hot. Yeah. yeah. Uh, whew. Round, uh, round three, everyone roll. Oh, the dealer's gonna fold. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how this game works, but I rolled three ones, so I'm out. <laughs> and you? Are we? Are we? You're sing? still playing against each other. Yeah. One more time, Greasy. One more time. I slap a goal down. All right. Excellent. And the final roll, the fourth roll. Go ahead. 
All right. Are you going to stay in? Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. slapping it down. Slap here. that down. It has been slapped. Slap it. I've thick. slapped harder than of, I've ever slapped before. A lot of thicks and slaps Yo, going on. so thick and slappy, I'm ready. <laughs> oh, man, this game slaps. <laughs> oh. Oh. Triumphant. All right. What? Is your final number? Man, I was rolling terribly the whole time. <laughs> Eight. Ten. Oh! Winner! 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 Barbecue chicken dinner! <laughs> yes! The so grease rolls all, in my favor today. All the gold goes over. You you had bet four coins, gold, I think. Gone. So you get an extra four from him, uh, two from these guys, and three from the dealer. I don't know that math. It's a lot. <laughs> You got nine extra gold, I think. Okay. Congratulations! Boy. Thanks for stopping so, by. I don't know how I, as a vendor, make any money playing. <laughs> I'm a little concerned about your understanding I've of business. For, I've been playing for three hours, and I have yet to make any money off of this. Okay. Anyway, bye bye. I'm dumb. <laughs> All right. Um, you continue on. Um, you're, uh, you do. You pass by. Uh, looks like the pig races are, are full. Uh, you do walk by the the fit a fry contest. That, that's still going on. What is a, what, what, okay. What, what is a fit a? Where do you have to fit the fry? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, a young gentleman named Nug Caesar runs up to you and says. Uh, <laughs> Oh, well, hello, hello there. Welcome to Fitter Fry. If you'd like to compete, it's a very simple game. We, uh, you guys, uh, fight against each other, compete against each other, and see who can fit as many fries in your mouth as possible. Uh, any takers? Uh, 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 I'll go in on it. All right. I say I have the jowls of the family. <laughs> and uh, you, my dear. I'm good. <laughs> All right, then. The cost is three gold. Do you have it? Yeah, I mean, the way all these games are going, I don't know I can lose at this point. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be competing against me, and we are just going to do this. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! You have the biggest mouth of anybody! On your right. mark, someone. Wait, yeah, so you count for it, me. How many? How, how much time? We're just trying to fit a bunch of fries in our mouth. Wait, what's the I, time I, limit? There's no time. I didn't. I just made Wait, this stuff up today minute, too. Why am I counting? You're just counting how many fries I stick in my mouth. Oh, okay. Maybe okay, if okay, he can okay. watch okay. Matt. Okay. Yeah, okay. I don't want you to see right. how many. I'm gonna keep the secret. Uh, okay. You ready? Yep. Here we yeah. go. Go. This game of chubby bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Eight. Uh -huh. We're gonna need a bucket. Oh. Ten. Oh. We're gonna need a bucket. Jeez, Matt, Twelve. That's disgusting. Oh no. Sixteen. Oh. Oh, Eighteen. God. Oh god. Oh. Oh. Gag reflex. Yeah, I'm bowling. Ah! And still <laughs> all over my lap. Hey, I won. That will be three gold, please. Yeah, I'll take it. You earned it. <sighs> My pants are nice and greasy now. That's how I like. There, that's yeah, fine. That's, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy a lap fry. <laughs> <if you choose. laughs> a lap fry, baby. <laughs> suddenly, <laughs> suddenly, trumpets blare and fresh-made taco salad shoots out of salad cannons. The traditional signal that the queen is going to speak. <laughs> Um, your group hustles to get a great spot close to the stage. Uh, Queen Wendy strides out to thunderous applause. Now, you've caught distance gl uh, distant glimpses of her in the past, but being this close is a different experience. She's beautiful, wearing a chocolate-colored tiara to celebrate her favorite treat, the Frosty. And even though this is her 50th year uh, ruling as Fresh Tovia's queen, she radiates a, a youthful exuberance, as if she's somehow trapped in time, like, like a corporate logo of some sort. <laughs> her vibrant red hair is pulled back into pigtails, each tied with a light blue bow. Her freckles are perfect, almost like they were drawn on with a pencil. <laughs> oh my uh, hold on. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my okay. goodness. Uh huh. What? 
Uh-huh. Great. A hush falls over the crowd as Wendy speaks. <laughs> My fellow fresh Tovians, for 50 years we have strived to accomplish things the other nations of Beef's Keep could not or chose not to. We have maintained the tried and true fact of fresh Tovia. We do not cut corners. We will not cut corners. The deep freeze continues in the south, but we will not succumb to it because we stay fresh. Queen Wendy leaves this phrase hanging as the people of Fresh Tovia chant back, never frozen. <laughs> stay fresh, never frozen. <laughs> Uh, it's it's an amazing sight, and you are swept up, your heart beating faster with every word. This is how I picture her voice all these days. <laughs> Finally answered the question. <laughs> As you know, the deep freeze is upon us. The United Clown Nations has sent their ice jester north to try to ruin our freshness. This floppy-footed clown thinks he can sully our land, but never fear! I have sent our bravest warriors, the fame adventuring party known as Dave's Combo, to defeat the Ice Jester once and for— But just then, <laughs> a guard nervously hands a note to the queen written on the back of a napkin. She reads it, her face clouding in worry. She sips a wild berry lemonade to calm herself. <laughs> Available at locations everywhere. <laughs> and continues, I, uh, I'm so sorry. I, uh, I have some uh, official royal business to attend to. Please enjoy the festival. <sighs> and she scurries away. The crowd is left confused. There are concerned murmurs all around. But when the band strikes up, everyone disperses. As you wander the circle, go ahead and everybody make an intelligence roll, if you could. Oh. Does the taco shell crunch under our feet as we walk by? Sure, no. sure it does. <laughs> I just realized this is an actual Wendy's D20. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh my god. <laughs> they, gave us, they gave us these. Oh man. Oh, I rolled a big oops. A big oops, that's a number one. Uh, okay, so we'll say that, uh, yes, uh, Snacks it gets distracted falls over into a, a, a pool of Asiago Ranch and gets, <laughs> and gets all, all dirty. <laughs> uh, any, uh, what are your other rolls? What did you guys roll? I rolled a 16. Mm -hmm. 13. 11, I was distracted by what happened over here with a little nugget. Sure. So, um, uh, uh, Hog, Hog Wild, uh, you are the one who notices um, you see a familiar person uh, sort of cutting through the crowd. Uh, it's it's uh, someone you work for, Colonel Cluck of the Irish, your commanding officer and friend. Uh, he looks concerned and harried, and he's and he's walking uh, sort of toward the palace. Uh, I, I I don't know if you want to catch up with him. Let him let him leave. That's yes, fine. I'll catch up with him, Colonel. Colonel. Oh. <laughs> Oh, hello there, Hog. Uh, f fun festival we're having today, isn't it, then? Yes, you look very worried. Is everything all right? Um, everything, everything's going... No, can I level with you? Of course. Uh, listen, uh, as you, as you were watching, uh, as you were watching the Queen make her speech, uh, we just got word that Dave's combo, the famous adventuring party, they were on a secret mission to the south, but the Ice Jester captured them and sent the Queen a ransom note. Now, the Queen has to decide whether to pay this ransom or, or try to rescue them, but she has no warriors to fight for her, no one to go on this mission. <sighs> if only there was someone, anyone brave enough to volunteer, it could save the kingdom, possibly win favor with the Queen, and further my hastily written narrative for tonight, all at once. <laughs> well, I'll let you know. You're standing in front of a big, thicky, thick, juicy <laughs> Bergman wow. looking for adventure. Oh, <laughs> it's, it will be a dangerous, dangerous adventure. Are, are you sure that... You four are up to the task? Danger is a thing that I tell people is my middle name. It isn't really my What is your real middle, middle name, if I might ask? Jimmy. <laughs> Hog, Hog Jimmy, Jimmy Wild? Wild. <laughs> oh, interesting. Is that a family? No, uh, it's a family name. Family name, sure, yes, sure. Yes. Hog Jimmy Wild. Oh, yeah, the Jimmy Wilds are real popular. Yeah. Generations. It's well, actually an honor to meet you. <laughs> I was gonna say something. Yeah, someone say I'm a prince of my people. <laughs> 
Do you see that? <laughs> I'll say it. He's a prince of his people. That guy's a prince of his people. Yeah. He's a prince of his why people. Are we all, why are we all saying that he's a prince of his We're people? We're being very supportive. Sure, sure. Please stay on Irish, Pop. I can't. It's very hard. Tighty, tighty, tighty. Cluck ushers you uh, <laughs> towards the castle gates. Uh, uh, first, uh, I'll, just, I'll just ask you again, are you all up to this challenge? I mean, if, uh, if the Hog Wilds are going to make their way there, I'm gonna be there to make sure that he's all right, stays alive, stays well fed. Little one, are you up for this challenge? Hey, old man, don't get your pantries in a bunch. We can handle anything. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Extra points. <laughs> <laughs> Antarctica, how, how about you? Well, anything for my darling, Wendy. You see, I was there for her first communion. Oh, she, oh. We split an entire Baconator. It was quite lovely. Between like 40 people, oh. it was an incredible display. So I was there for her then, <laughs> I will be there for her now. It sounds, it sounds like you have a lot of love in your, in your cold, icy heart for I her. I do. Well, fine then, follow me, y'all. All right, so Cluck leads the party to Wendy's castle. It's a beautifully constructed castle with tall square towers reaching toward the sky on either end. There are rose bushes lining the walkway leading up to two open wooden doors that welcome guests. Uh, but then an imposing inner guard stops you at the main foyer. Oi, what's your business here? Oh, I'm sorry. We are just on a very important mission for Queen Wendy. You've probably seen me around. Antarctica, everyone's favorite aunt. And I'm going to cast Little Spoon. Oh, what's that? Um, <laughs> he has to make an Arcana save of 12. If not, we're friends. Oh, okay, I'm gonna roll. He rolled a two. Oh, <laughs> oh uh, yeah, uh, yes, you know ma'am. You see, is? Just a kiss, a kiss. You kiss see the guard out. blush a little bit and sort of uh, adjust his collar yeah. uh, in a, in a very welcoming way. Uh, yes, ma'am. Of, of course, I remember you. I didn't know if you remembered me. Uh, me. Right. Uh, I, I, just, absolutely. Uh, the four thank of you. Can thank you. <laughs> thank you. Pass on by. I see what you did there. That's one way to flip a patty. <laughs> yep, yep. Well, don't let my resting frost face fool you. <laughs> wow. Wow. Everything's, every, every line is a winner. <laughs> Puns chamber, GM. <laughs> um, okay, you are ushered um, down a long hallway into an opulent throne room. It's got square pa uh, hamburger patties, like, everywhere. And these hamburger patties don't just look like hamburgers, they are hamburgers. The seats, the tapestries, the curtains, even the chandeliers are all made out of actual hamburger meat. Wow. I'm creating, taking some creative license okay. with, with their with their module. Is this is homebrew. This is homebrew. This is not official canon lore. Everything in the place is meat. This is very Lady cosmic Gaga's horror. Living room. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the meat room. And it is the most beautiful sight you've ever experienced oh, in your life. That's a lot of beef. Does anyone else feel uncomfortable with the materials they use to build this place? I'm more impressed about the tactile strength of the chandeliers. It's, uh, that looks a little chewy. How does the architectural structure in here work? Oh, the floor's all greasy and slippery. <laughs> I'm having a hard time standing. Pardon me, I'm just I, trying to I, keep I, myself up. No, it's okay. <laughs> oh, God, I just want to pry on me. <laughs> um, you're, you're left waiting in the chamber for a while, um, and then uh, you hear a... <laughs> <laughs> as Queen Wendy strides into the room. <laughs> well, the ground is made of meat, guys. <laughs> it's meat tiles, it's square meat tiles. It's, the way it's the like a parquet. <laughs> uh, <sighs> she seems relieved at once to see you, um, that you might be there uh, to offer some guidance. Oh, and... my queen. Immediately go down on the one knee. Oh yes, as Bunsman, it is typical for you all to to take a knee. Yeah, I'm already down. <laughs> 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 no, 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 rise, rise, uh, rise. Now I've been told that you heroes know of the nefarious Ice Jester. 
Why he continues down his frozen path is beyond me. I've attempted to fight him off with sassy Twitter subtweets, sub but so far, nada. And now he's beef-napped my best soldiers. Honey, butter, biscuit, it's enough to turn my hair crimson. One of her guards calms her with another sip of lemonade. <laughs> thank you, thank you. That's now, no problem. now I was preparing to pay the ransom, the entire nation's supply of Frosty, but they tell me that you four are here to volunteer for a rescue mission? Why, yes. This is a rare situation that I want to make sure is done well. So, me and the other three bunsmen think we are the one for the task. How, how would I know that you are worthy of this task? Well, Queen Wendy, as you know, if you remember that little Were precious you in my moment. Communion? Yes, I gave you that little precious That's moment. Right. We all had the tiniest yes. piece of that baconator that I we had to share it with everybody. Why didn't they order more food? I'm not entirely sure. I don't understand yeah. it. It seems like they should have catered it's it. We are a nation <laughs> built around food. <laughs> It's just a little odd, I, you know. And with that, we cannot surrender our entire supply of Frosty. From the Order of the Frosty, I feel like, you know, sometimes we get a bad rap, you know, here in Freshtopia, and you know, Fresh never fails in, and you know, it's, but you I roll, remain balanced. Why don't you roll a charm roll for me, oh, if you don't mind? I think that's a stat, right? Yes, it is. It is. <laughs> okay. Okay, eleven. Okay, okay. Uh, I I do remember you, and we do share a common history. Yes. Your the order of the Frosty is a noble one indeed. But Thank you. but yet I'm going to need more proof that you four are worthy. So, <clears throat> um, I'm going to need to do a loyalty test. She, she nods to her young servant named Maxwell Jerry, uh, who sets out four trays in front of you. Uh, oh no. Uh, I'm sorry, Jerry. Or Maxwell Jerry. Uh, each, each tray has a chocolate frosty, a straw, a spoon, and french fries on it, or a french fry on it. Uh, and Queen Wendy uh, says, this is an ancient ritual passed down <laughs> from generation to generation of the inner circle. A straw, a fry, a plastic spoon, but only one will earn your boon. Choose wisely, take a dip, and touch that yummy frosty tulip. So you must open your frosties and choose the implement that you will eat it with. This is a recipe for disaster. <laughs> Good one. Real answer. I agree. <laughs> Quickening. Damn, it's so good though. <laughs> I know that's the thing. <laughs> it's all so good. <laughs> um, the frosties set before you seem to glow with a, uh, a greenish tint, an arcane power coursing through them. Um, suddenly, a sharp pain rattles all of your heads, but it quickly, it quickly dissipates. It didn't, it didn't cause a, a brain freeze. <laughs> In fact, it warms your whole soul. Um, you feel a renewed uh, spirit of adventure. And uh, Queen Wendy turns to you and says, you have chosen wisely. <laughs> the French fry is the ultimate way to eat a Frosty. You are worthy of this journey. However, you cannot simply charge into the heart of the United Clown Nations, you'll get freezer burn. But you might be able to get us a bargaining chip. Our latest intel from Fort Baconator says that our enemy is planning an assault on the Frosty Canyon Chili Fields. You guys all know that the Chili Fields is where Fresh Tovia has drilling operations for its famous chili. Crude chili is found underground and pumped out um, and refined at the Freestyle Falls Chili Refinery. Which I'm very glad we managed to stop the fracking <laughs> efforts of getting the chili out last year. That was damaging. Great. We learned this in second grade. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> 
Uh, and an agent from the United Clown Nations has been sent to the area with a forever flash freezer, an incredibly rare magical weapon that could freeze our entire chili operation and bring our prosperity to an end. If you can stop them from their goal and somehow steal the forever flash freezer, we could use it as a, to trade for the men and women of Dave's combo. And I will also reward you 500 gold pieces and your very own Wendy's franchise in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. That's exotic. Yeah. If my queen. Yes. And I kneel on one knee and look up, <laughs> big, big smile. <laughs> <laughs> I might make one additional request beyond just the gold and this generous offer of a franchise, which I gather we'd probably have to work out the logistics of shared partnership. Yeah, like, but, uh, well, like we'll deal with it. Later. I think you, oh, create, okay. you typically create like an LLC or an LLP oh, that we'll you all own that shares in. Do we each get our uh, own franchise? Whatever. Just we'll one. Talk later. Okay. I would ask if we complete this task. It's in a mini mall. It gets a lot of foot traffic. Uh, <laughs> Is it near Claire's? Just uh, I don't know. maybe. <laughs> Sorry, go on, Tweezle. This is important. This is my backstory. <laughs> oh, good, good. More drop, more drop. I have reason to believe that the Grilden family's fall to shame was at the hands of the Happy Feasts. Now, I know they have a kind of a rapport with the kingdom here, but if we do this, will you do me the honor of trying to clear our name? I have heard of this sordid history of your family. There is a black grill mark across your family name. <laughs> but if you succeed in this mission, I I could th think about restoring your family name to, to its former glory. There are, there are many powerful figures who still harbor a grudge against you people, of course. I understand, but that's all right, because us here of the order of the homestyle chicken sandwich, <laughs> we like to provide a crispy hug to help everyone's satiated hunger bring us together. So, I thank you for your offer. I'll do you proud. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> um, you guys now see that uh, uh, Tweezel's uh, pants are sort of have big grease stains on the knees. Um, and uh, 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 when, uh, Wendy looks at you, Queen Wendy, sorry, and says, uh, well, if there's no other business to attend to, you must go. In Dave's holy name, you must go and, and leave, leave right away and, 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 and succeed for us, succeed for us all. And don't forget when you have succeeded, light the sacred flame on Biggie Hill to let the entire queendom know that you have succeeded. Now go, leave me to my sweet and sour bath. <laughs> <laughs> and as you leave, you see handmaids rolling Wendy into a vat of tangy sweet and sour sauce. <laughs> oh, very cute. Yeah. Interesting. Um, all right, so you, you leave uh, the, um, the throne room and are escorted back out towards the front of the castle where uh, Colonel Cluck is still um, waiting for you. Um, Man, heavy hang the braids. Oh, I'm done with this. Yes. <laughs> yes, this is, I'm, I'm very invested in this. The, the burgerman. Oh God. Really enjoy the, <laughs> okay. the chili. There was a burgerman I knew, uh, his name was Bliffy Bwadiwe. Sure. And he would buy the Southwest salad from Wendy's mm. and he thought, oh, they give me free chili every time. This is great. Until he realized he was supposed to put the chili on the salad. Uh, and then his dreams were crushed. Because <laughs> the cute girl who worked at the Wendy's wasn't just hooking him up with free chili. <laughs> she was just doing her job. That's a, that's a mighty sad tale. Wow. Uh, thank you for sharing. And I, I think we can all uh, just take a moment in silence for your friend there. And yeah. so his heart lesson. Yeah. Mm. You're baking our hearts here. Oh, uh. oh boy. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Every time it's like staring further into the abyss. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> it doesn't get any easier. Every fun uh, is a little cut. <laughs> well, I grab my spoon. I grab my shield and my oven-plated armor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Comb my beard out a bit and say, yes. what do you say, friends? 
Shall we make our way towards the ghastly venture before us? Snack starts spinning her nugget bowl of. <laughs> Let's do this. Die to cool frosty magic. <laughs> <laughs> I grab my special and frying pan and I look at my compatriots and say, Ride or fry. Yeah. yeah. Well, these, oh, these are these are all words that you are saying. <laughs> um, uh, Colonel Cluck meets you outside the the gates of the castle. Um, I, I, in the interest of time, you you catch him up on uh, what's going on. Um, I gotta get back into Irish. Hi, 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 Great. Okay. <laughs> oh, I just figured out what was happening. <laughs> Um, uh, well, then you'd, you'd best be going. Um, the Frosty Canyon chili fields are, are due south of here, about a half day's journey by foot. Um, you'll follow the road to the Frosty Canyon village, and there you can meet an ally, Prince Carter. He'll guide you to the strike point, and hopefully you can cut off these fools at the pass. Um, so now, uh, you sort of, you, you you guys know, I think one of you, do, do any of you, are any of you familiar with the kingdom? Uh, any of you have any maps or, or anything? How would you know that? I don't know, I, I probably gave you something on your sheet. I have an ukulele. Great. Well, the nation great. of Freshtovia is to the east. Oh, okay, great, you got a map, great. Yeah. So you know the general location of where you're going. Um, you could set out right away. Uh, is there anything else you wish to do before setting out on, on this adventure? <laughs> There's stuff all over my face, isn't there? Yeah. You look like a newsie. <laughs> I'd like to make a quick stop by the Grilden residence, and oh. it's been kind of pushed off to the outside, kind of slum area of the kingdom where we were shamed to, and walk to the small altar to my long past father, Benja the Breaded, and look up into his eyes, light a single candle, and say, Don't worry, Pops. We're going to make things right again. Can wipe, you a, wipe a salty tear from my cheek. Go ahead and, and roll an Arcana check to see if you can connect with your the spirit of, of <laughs> your past, Grildon. That's a twenty. That that's a that's feast mode. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just killed your dead ancestor, <laughs> <laughs> or ate or ate him. I'm not sure, but whatever the case is, the um, the uh, the parallel lines of of the grill the grill altar that you have uh, set up start glowing red. Um, red with 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 a radiant uh, divine heat. Uh, uh, once you're, you're scared, but realize that this is a warming heat that that sort of welcomes you, um, and you can sense that the spirit of your ancestor is there, and says to you, "Go, go on this journey, rectify our name, and bring me back like a few ke ketchup packets, yeah. if you can." Yeah, we're running low. You're right. All right, no worries. I'll make you proud. I'll make you proud. <laughs> Steam uh, floats off the grill. Careful, and, it's a safety hazard. <laughs> and it, it fades back to a dull black. Have you seen those safety in the workplace PSAs? <laughs> Obviously I haven't, so you have to show me on the way. I look back at the altar and get a little spooked and leave <laughs> radically. Um, I get to say, I don't know why, <laughs> I'm gonna say, um, Something that you didn't notice was there before has just uh, something catches your eye at the bottom of the of the uh, uh, of the idol. Um, there's not much to choose from. <laughs> Let's say, okay, great. Um, it's a it, something uh, glint catches your eye, and um, and you you kneel down and, and see it's um, it's a ten foot uh, it's a twenty foot long length of chain. Um, that uh, that has a, a hook at the end of it, and uh, you just hear the faintest whisper of, of from your your ancestor. I've forgotten his name. Br the breaded. What was it? Benja the breaded. Benja the breaded saying, "Take this and use it wisely. It was my chosen weapon." weapon, weapon. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Don't worry. All right. I will. So you have a what did I say? Twenty foot length of chain. chain. Great. I don't know. <laughs> We'll see what happens. <laughs> um, okay, so um, so you've visited uh, uh, 
Um, Freezel's. What? What is your name? <laughs> Dweezel. Freezel. Dwe Tweezel. Tweezel's homeland. Um, is there anything else you wish to do? Yes, I go back to my home mm. and visit my four tiny sons. <laughs> Cheese, burger, sly, and durs. <laughs> and we all, we all take a moment to talk. And I tell them that Papa is stepping out for a bit. He has a big adventure, but to take care of each other. But Papa, you, you'll come home, won't you? If I don't, you should look out for each other. If you don't? If I don't, I don't know what may happen on this trip. Well, I may step out and never come back. But without your thick, juicy, fatherly figure around, who, who will guide us? Who, which, which of the four of us will carry on the family name? I place my two, four, six, four <laughs> thick fingers on each of their chests. You no. only have four fingers? Well, no, I'm doing Oh, that. okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know how Burgerman anatomy yeah, yeah, yeah. Burgerman works. Burgerman have five hands, well, <laughs> but, but I'm, you know, <laughs> and I'm poking them all in the chest and I'm saying, there are thick, juicy men hiding inside of all of you. And when you grow up and look after each other and go to school and brush your teeth before you go to sleep, you'll all grow up into big, thick, juicy men. And soon you'll be bigger, thicker, and juicier than your own dad. But I may not come back. Uh, <laughs> and if I don't come back, I need you to go down to the market. There's a man there by the name of Benny. He'll know what to do, and he'll take care of all of you. Um. <laughs> your your youngest by a few minutes, Durs, comes up <laughs> and uh, and says, Papa, I know what you're doing is noble, and I know you'll come back and make the the wild family proud. <laughs> Please be safe. Of course, son. And like we always say in our family, live fast, eat fast. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh. And as you gently shut the door uh, on your house, you can see, of course, uh, on the door, above the door, hanging a, a crocheted uh, saying, that, that famous saying of your family, hanging just about above the door. A lot, a lot of R's. <laughs> yep. the yeah, there's six R's at the end. Um, all right, any other? Yeah, similarly, I go to see my brothers and sisters at home, all five of them. Okay. Nug. You guys have lots of family. Spicy. <laughs> Crisp, honey, chicken little. I gotta go on an adventure now. These are your brothers and sisters? Yeah. Okay. You guys might be a five piece set at this point. It's hard to say. When I'm gone, I need you to do me a favor and look after Hog Wild's kids. They're a mess. <laughs> Grease everywhere. they run amok. You mean Hog Wild, that. Big juicy thick guy. <clears throat> yeah, his kids kind of are a mess. Yeah, he's a tall drink of bacon grease, but not really good on the fatherhood thing. So, hey, we're probably gonna die on this mission. <laughs> Basically, you're adopting them. That's what I'm saying. Well, I guess, I guess it'll be a nine piece then. But we'll make do. Hey. If you do get dipped, get dipped with honor, okay? Way to look on the sp <laughs> Nope, nope. <laughs> Whatever you're gonna say. <laughs> I don't know if I'm having a heart attack or... <laughs> it's, it's tough. Or an out-of-body experience. <laughs> on the bright side, small fry. I'll see you around. Not if I see you first, Snacks. She's already gone. What? <laughs> <laughs> Three family visits down. Any others to do? Oh, I'm just blasting through town. <laughs> I don't really, you know, just like a freezer blasting through. It's good. You know what? It'll be okay. Everyone is used to losing one nugget down the center of their console in their car. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Queen. <laughs> Yes. 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 And scene. 
All right, you guys walk out of the gates of Fresh Tovia. <laughs> Uh, there are two roads uh, leading out. Yes, you've got your belongings, enough uh, enough food for the day, snacks. Oh, yeah. um, there are two roads uh, that lead directly out of Fresh Toby, the eastern road and the southern road. Um, heading east leads to Dave's Double Hills. Uh, heading south will lead you to, to Biggie Vale and Frosty Canyon. That's uh, where you're headed. Um, and south? You, yeah. <clears throat> Side quests all night long. Okay, sure. No, south, I'll, just, south. I'll just delete. I'll delete everything. In. <laughs> we, we fast traveler. <laughs> um, after about an hour uh, of of steady travel, it's uh, it's midday now. Uh, the road has been easy, um, well marked. Uh, you're passing through. Um, a part of the road that has uh, it's a little less developed, a little less um, trodden, and uh, trees um, are sur are surrounding you. Um, not not a huge canopy that it blocks the light or anything. It's just sparse trees are around. You come uh, in the middle of the road um, to a cart that has been overturned ahead of you. Horses attached to the tip wagon are kicking and bucking and neighing. There's some sort of sauce spilled across the road. You're not sure what. Um, what would you like to do? Careful. It could be a honey mustard pot. Whoa. You know what? Make an intelligence check to see if you can re recognize the, uh, the type of sauce. Intelligence? Yeah. 16. It is honey mustard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, one of the, uh, there's several barrels, uh, but one, the one that has overturned is a honey is a honey mustard barrel. I don't like it. I'm gonna dip out and hide behind the trees and try to start skirting the area while my friends okay. take this head on. Okay, why don't you roll a grace check to see how stealthy uh, and nimble you are. Actually, you know what? Let's place you on the board, shall we? Whoa! Oh no. <laughs> Order of the chicken nuggets! How you doing, man? I'm a rogue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> that soul. Might might not make it through this tonight. <laughs> oh god, this you might recognize this map from. <laughs> I do. <laughs> from last week. Wait, did you just? <laughs> I just use one of a map. <laughs> use one of Matt's maps. Have you know? Are those giant fries that are on the ground in a few places? Uh, yes, yes. Um, what color do you guys want to be? <laughs> I'll be blue. Antarctica will be blue. Okay. Yellow oh <laughs> chickens. <laughs> Oh boy, they don't stand, do they? Uh, uh, where do you want to stealth to, uh, Snacks? Where did we enter, GM? Oh, you're, you're coming this way, uh, down the road. I will be over here. <sighs> okay, you're yeah. stealth to that tree. tree. Mm -hmm. And what did yeah. you roll for that stealth roll? Uh, 14 right total. Uh, 14 total, oh, oh. feeling pretty good about that roll. Um, who's who? I'll be green, I'll be actually walking right up to it going, Hey, friends, it appears like you've made a big mess out here and need a hand. Let us know. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stay with Homestyle. Yeah, and I'll be right next to him. Yes, you better be careful. We have a license to grill. <laughs> and they all get plus one to their charm rolls for being near me. Okay, so as you uh, approach the cart, there is no one on the cart. It's it's a couple of horses. Um, and is this the, magic? How can the cart have nobody with it? The These cart is overturned. Really You're not smart. sure how how long it's been there. You can see um, French fries scattered everywhere. Some in the cart, some nearby, some uh, in a bush nearby. I'm gonna approach the horses and be like, friends. It looks like you're running a fry racket here, but you've uh, lost track of some of your your goods here. Tell me, what? Uh, where are you off to? Where are you taking? <laughs> you're talking to the horse? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's roll a <laughs> mm, charm, charm, let's say charm. Plus one. Six. <laughs> yeah, the, the horse says <laughs> But uh, doesn't seem to understand your your language. I uh, look around. Or communicate, okay, Is yes. Is there movement in roll, the woods? Are we being ambushed? Roll an intelligence check for sure. Little buddy, calm 16. down. 16, uh, you do notice uh, out of the corner of your eye, that um, one of, one of the sort of bunches of fries over here starts to move a little bit, oh, no. um, and uh, uh, it springs to its feet and starts to rush right at your group. Okay, it doesn't get uh, close enough to attack, but I need everyone to roll for deliciative. <laughs> We're fighting sentient fries. 
You go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, tw I, there's no bonus to. Okay, what's your initiative? I think it's just a d20 straight, mm -hmm. and I don't think there's any pluses to delicious. Okay. Okay, so 15 to 20. Oh, I got to roll for the for the fry fiends as well. <laughs> fry fiends. Uh huh. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, 15 to 20. Nobody. Uh, 10 to 15? Ah, I rolled a 13. Okay. 10 for Antarctica. Uh, 10 for Ant. I rolled a flipping eight. Eight for snacks. Yeah. Five. Okay. And I'm just excited to see friends coming closer. <laughs> oh, look at these little fry fellas coming to. Oh, wait, you're, you're Hog. Sorry, not Tweezel. Got it. Uh, okay. Four C's, I found your friends. Okay. Got it. Okay, so we are in combat, guys, which is a thing that exists in this game. Is it daytime or nighttime? It is still midday. Okay. The sun shines bright overhead. Um, and it is the fry fiends turn first. You see now clearly that these French fries um, actually have two skinny legs what, uh, wearing what appears to be some sort of boots leading up to a large, frightening French fry body. Um, large, crooked noses, tattered, pointed ears, and brightly colored punk rock hair swept over their faces like angsty teens. Um, they are going to attack. What can they do, guys? Let's find out. This one first is gonna go up to who, Greeny? That's me. Okay, and attack. Hey, friend. <laughs> with what? a. Wanna help figure out why these horses are lost that and what's he doing? <laughs> <laughs> he attacks. Oh boy. That is a 17 to hit. What's your defense? That's a 16. Oh, that's a hit. Oh, he, shit. You see this fry fiend um, <laughs> jump up and do like a karate kick straight to the hey, face. <laughs> um, it connects with your chin, dealing six points. Jeez, that's a lot of, <laughs> of damage. I, I might kill you guys. That wasn't very nice. <laughs> um, uh, uh, the other, this fry fiend hops out of the cart, um, and he doesn't quite have enough movement to, well, let's see here. Five, because it's like half movement to get out of the cart. Uh, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, he's within range. He's going to attack. Ready? Who's ready? That's you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. 12, 12 to uh, to hit. What's your defense stat? 18. Oh, okay. He flies up to do a face kick and instead whiffs and flies right, fries right behind you and lands in the dirt. Um, and this last fry fiend hops up and starts making his or her way over, only can get about that far. You know what, they're gonna, um, it's not called dash, it's called sprint. They're gonna sprint, <laughs> but they can't attack yet. Um, that's their roll, that's their move, and it is now uh, Hog Wild's turn. So I turn to the fry fiend in front of me, but not before I cut a look at the horses. You've betrayed us. <laughs> <laughs> I swing down upon the fry, free, fry fiend with my frying pan and spatula. Oh, it's a double attack? You can do that? I, I have two, I'm double wielding. I don't know how to do That's right. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know you have two weapons, but can, do you get two? I, yeah, I read all our player stats. Okay, great. <laughs> I should have done that. <laughs> Wait, first roll to hit. So roll a d20 oh, yeah. to hit. I guess twice if you're using two weapon attacks. Oh, 17 for the first. 17 for the second. Oh, both hit for sure. <laughs> um, all right, roll for damage for both attacks. Uh, 11 damage. Uh, total, that's for uh, both, both For hits? both weapons. Okay, uh, your, your frying pan slams into the side of its french fry face, and your other weapon is a spatula. Yes. Jabs into what you can assume are ribs, but just look like more <laughs> french fries, um, and it lets out a moan of pain. Ah! Just it, moan for me, you fry. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's... 
Uh, that one that you struck is looking already looking pretty rough. Um, anything else to do on your turn? Would you like to move? Would you like to? Uh, no, I'll stand there and I'll just stare at it. Just let you know you messed up. I told you already. I have a license to grill. Yes, yes, you did. You did that one already. Yes, that is true. Um, You're in the grill zone. <laughs> okay. Uh, Antarctica, you're up next. Oh, um, I'm gonna move up around the corner. Uh, uh. Henry. Henry. <laughs> and I am going to use two spoons. Oh, what does that do? They have to make an arcana, uh, uh, an arcana check. Is that all of the fries, or just the ones you're targeting? Everyone in the area. It's, a, it's, okay. an, it's an area Create thing. Create a mirage Great. that will draw the attacks of your enemies on their next turn, so you can break out from combat undetected. Is that what two spoons is? That sounds what, yeah. like yes. two spoons is. Yes. So you're gonna make a mirage yes, to distract so them. I wanted to look like a giant deep fryer with a, like brave little toaster legs, like one of those <laughs> nightmares, uh -huh. but right, coming up. after the fries. So okay. you, you have to roll that one for the Arcana roll. Oh, uh, uh Roll plus oh, your I Arcana. Yeah. Roll 14 or higher. I have to roll a 14 or higher. Okay, okay. New system. New system, who dis? Who is it, three? <laughs> is it three of them? Or no, it's no, just, just one, one from all of them. 14 or higher. Nope, oh. miss. Oh, man. 11. I'm sorry. <laughs> so you see this, uh, this, uh, this image uh, apparate next to you, right in front of one of the French fry uh, fiends but then it, it, uh, the french fry seems to look through it and laugh mockingly in its salty voice. <laughs> and it, it fizzles in front of you. Is there anything else you'd like to do with your extra, extra turn, extra move, anything, any movement? No. no. Snacks, you're up. Oh man, too many Tweezle, cooks in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, Snacks comes rolling out from behind the tree up to these two fry fiends right here. One of those is the one that Hogwild hit, a right? a lot of damage already. Okay, I'm gonna come right uh, between them. Uh-huh. Get right between them, and I can, where did my character go? Um, grab and go, when engaged in combat, I can either double my movement or do two attacks. I'm attacking twice. Great. Okay. With my nugget bolas. <laughs> <laughs> And they both miss! Three and a four! Oh! Oh, wait. Oh. I'm looking for buffs. I'm looking for buffs. Dave's combo. Um, you know what I should have said earlier? Because you guys all enjoyed a lovely Frosty before, you all get plus one to your charm for the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. there, are, there are buffs and there are debuffs for eating different kinds of food. Oh. If anyone is interested in eating this plate of food, I'm not gonna tell you what's gonna happen, <laughs> but it's not Wendy's food, so maybe not anything good. <laughs> the example food. Yeah. The window at the deli. I was, just, I was wondering if that was purchased at like a prop warehouse. Yeah. Um, Rubber grapes. I think some of it is fake food. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> Uh, uh, okay, so your spell missed. You attacked. You missed. you missed twice. Keep um, okay, you swing. You swing at these things, but you you uh, you don't realize at the time that the, the fries can sort of spread out uh, and dodge attacks deftly, and so um, they they kind of stymie you. It's very frustrating. Um, Tweezel, you are up. What would you like to do? I just grazed him. All right, looking around at my friends here and having a hell of a tough time digging into these creatures. I think to myself, well. By the might of the breaded, I will guide your weapons with the majesty of a little more flavor. So I'm gonna add a little flavor to it. What does that mean? I'm gonna go ahead and inspire. <laughs> I didn't really read much of this. <laughs> I look over there and say, don't worry, friends. Trust me, frosties and fries, it's a good combo. It is. Nugget, you got this, friend. I throw, toss in the air a handful of pepper and salt that kind of cascades across your weapons. For your next turn, <laughs> for your next turn, two characters of your choosing gain advantage on their attack rolls. Right. Oh, Automatic effect, no rolls required. That's gonna help. And that's your action for the My action, move? and then I turn back at the, the, the wounded fry in front of me and be like, oh, don't worry, baby, Baconator's coming again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, uh, it's a fry's turn. Um, they're all three gonna attack, I'll just roll right now. Who dies first? Um, okay, great. So, um, 
I forget who's yellow, but this one attacks that snacks yeah. uh, with 17. What's your defense? Oh, it's lower than that. It's a 14. Oh! All right, so they're gonna hit you with uh, with a high kick. Um, it's a straight up high kick to the face. You, you suddenly uh, fry you, kick. Yeah, <laughs> it's a fry <laughs> kick. Uh, you 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 spin ready for action when all of a sudden. <laughs> A French fry hits you in the ear, <laughs> and it really hurts bad. Ah, son of a clock! Oh. <laughs> uh, you take six points of damage also. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She's um, looking pretty rough. <laughs> um, the, uh, the next one is going to attack, I believe it's you, Tweezel, and roll to 12. What's your defense? Oh, it's a 16. All right. <laughs> Let's try fry about it. Yes, uh, the French fry <laughs> bounces off of your meaty chest. Uh, no damage taken. And the last French fry is going to take, shake out its long and droopy hair, flinging stray salt at all uh, nearby opponents. Um, anyone who is nearby will say that these two, um, that's Tweezel and I can't remember oh, your, guy, well, your Cooper, name's Hog, um, <laughs> must make a grace roll. So roll for grace. Trying to take a uh, roll of 12 or above. Yeah. That's a 19. That's a 20. six. Okay, this is a salt shaker attack. So salt sprays at both of you. Um, Hog, seeing it coming, is able to duck out of the way and and, <laughs> uh, and shield him w- himself from the salt. But the salt does hit you, Tweezel, uh, and uh, you take... Two, briny. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, your skin suddenly uh, recoils in pain. A little salt gets in the cut that you got it from earlier and really stings. Oh, curses, the bead of the condiment. <laughs> two points of damage for you. That's uh. the end of their roll. Um, Hog Wild, you are up. Well, it's time to finish the fright, and this frying fight, not, I'm scared, I'm not scaring you. (laughs) And I, (laughs) and I swing down the, the, the spatula in the frying pan. Double attack. Roll twice. 18 for the. The same one twice? Or? Yeah, same one twice. Well, uh, okay, the, they both definitely hit. Um, when you bring down your uh, frying pan on the one, can you roll for damage for me? Oh, yes. Uh, the frying pan, we'll roll right here, does 11. Okay, that French fry is smushed, um, just dug into the mud. You can see dirt and French fry potato mixing, and um, it's weird. It's not blood. But, but a little bit of ketchup spills out, um, as it does. You can direct your second attack at another fry if you're close enough do, by. Uh, uh, are there any fries around me? What, you're this dude? Yeah, red. Oh, so you attacked this one? Yes. Oh, I think I've been doing this wrong. I thought you attacked that one last time. So yes, that one's definitely dead. Um, and I can say, I'll can say that you can use your movement and, and go over to this guy All and right. attack if you'd like. I will attack him. Okay, d- you rolled already, you hit. You but when I killed that last fry, I said, did anyone order mashed potatoes? Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, did you hear that? You smashed your friend. Uh-huh, you made uh-huh, potatoes, uh-huh. So you're, it's a joke about your death. No, I'll attack the, the other one. Uh, you already rolled for that, you definitely hit. So now just roll for damage. Four damage. All right. Um, the French fry uh, raises up its fry arms to sort of buckle under the weight of your attack, lessening some of the damage, but it still causes a good hefty then hit. Then I will do something I forgot to do last time. Mm-hmm. I will make it a double, which are, allows me to perform two actions per turn. Oh, oh man. No. Smush him some more. Oh, yes. snap. All right, let's do it. All right. So Roll two more times, I guess, or just one oh, more Oh, that was a D20 feast mode. Feast mode. Ha <laughs> ha 
feast mode. Here's the rules for feast mode. Um, when you roll a d20, you get full damage. So you, uh, what, whatever the d, what, natural 20. yeah. Um, what, what d do you? What, what is it like d10 for damage or d? Uh, the frying pan is a d12. In so the you get automatic d10. 12 points of damage. All right. Um, plus. You roll full damage. His next the next roll is with advantage. Your right? next roll will be with advantage on the next attack. So, um, so it takes another an additional twelve points of damage. Ooh, it is looking super rough. It's ha- hanging on by a fry. Hope you're ready for the spatula. You're, you got more? Oh my gosh! One more time, and that was a nineteen. Well, you get to roll with advantage. Oh, roll again. No, yeah. that was, yeah, we'll take that. Definitely 19. hits. Yes, yes. Uh, roll for damage. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that, that did one damage. <laughs> <laughs> it was enough to do it. Oh, uh, yes. um, gore and spud of uh, just blasts all over you, getting in your face and hair. Um, it's it's a gory, gory death. Um, oh, and this fry has starchy. been sent to the freezer for good. The other fry is looking a little bit scared at this point, um, but uh, it, we move on in the order to Antarctica. What would you like to attempt? I will take my initiative and go up with my spoon. Something's never done. <laughs> <laughs> Dip it into my awesome dress. It comes out with some frosty on it, and I fling it in its face. You're gonna fling Frosty in his face. All right, yeah, roll for an attack. Yeah, with my spoon attack. Spoon attack, go ahead and roll. Spoon! Okay. You have advantage, technically. I do, I'll That's take, right. fi- what do, do I add something? F- 15? I <laughs> no, I 15. don't think so. And did you roll with advantage? Yes. Okay, 15. That definitely hits, their, their defense is only 12, so. Okay. That is four damage. Four damage. And this is the one that's left standing. Uh huh. Um, all right. That's a definite hit. Frosty. Uh, the the sweetness of the frosty combining with the saltiness of, of his body sort of sizzles and fizzes. Ah, it shrieks out in pain. Uh, it's not used to being this this sweet. It prefers that's a much right. more salty existence. Um, it shudders back, but it is still living on the battlefield. Is there anything else you'd like to do? I don't think so. <laughs> do anything else. I don't know how it works either, Marisha. I don't know either. <laughs> I'm good. Um, Snacks, you're up. Oh, man, Snacks white rubs her jaw in pain. Ugh, I've done had enough of this. And I'm going to do a four piece of salt, and Whoa. I'm going to swing out my nugget bull and catch him by the fried junk and yank, and then I get four successive attacks at advantage. At advantage? Well, yeah. because of the spell. Sure, sure, sure. So Roll four nuggets to the face. Uh, first one is a 17. Hit. Second one is a 15. Hit. Third one is a 16. Hit. And the last is an 11. Miss. Oh. So, bola, 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 nugget, nugget, <laughs> nugget. Just repetitive slamming into the french fry's face. They were all fours. 12 damage. Ooh, pop, 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 pop. Doctor. This thing is on its last legs. What? It's still standing. <laughs> I'm gonna use the grab and go passive action to back away without him I being able to take a to cheap shot. to break out? To break out without you taking a cheap shot. You about to say something else, but that's not consistent. <laughs> Maybe, uh, you're gonna break out <laughs> and move away so it doesn't get a cheap shot. Where would you like to move? Oh, back behind that tree, baby. Back behind that tree. Very smart, strategic move. Amazing. I play tabletop games. <laughs> <laughs> um, this fry fiend is looking pretty rough, and is going to go ahead and turn tail and, and run. It's going to it's going to use all of its action. So uh, run. you know what? Because it was close to, to is this you, Ify? The red? Yes, that's you me. get you get a cheap <laughs> shot. Uh, one one attempt to try to hit it as it runs away. All right, I'll just roll a my d twenty for your children. Fourteen. Fourteen hits. Uh, any any roll you make will will smush it. So it tries to run away, ah! and then pfft, you fry, s- fry. You oh. s- you know what? How how would you like to chew this? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Brain freeze. <laughs> I feel like I need to go to church after this and, and confess. 
Yeah. <laughs> and I'll, I'll smack it, and it's while it's dazing, I'm just pulling the fries out one by one. I'm just getting all the fries. Yes, 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 you uh, die! Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's a it's a mess of French fries, salt, oh thick, juicy man, oh. and you just shred these fries till they're. It's not even recognizable that it was ever a, a package of French fries. I see you make a good hash brown skillet. <laughs> yes. I'm thicker so they die quicker. <laughs> <laughs> um, the battle seemingly over. Uh, you guys scan the area and don't see or hear anything else, so it seems that we are out of combat. Are the horse is spooked. Uh, the horses are, are pretty spooked by what just happened. I'm gonna go to the horse and be like, shh, shh it's all right, little buddy. <laughs> don't worry. Okay. Don't worry, calm down. Roll that charm, charm roll one more time. Plus two. That's a... Uh... 18. Wow. The horse uh, uh, was bucking and about to break, make a break for it. It's all right. Mm. It's all right. And it calms down. It sort of nuzzles its head into into your massive chest and... Uh, oh, 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 I want to keep him. <laughs> well, uh, the, the horses are both healthy. They haven't been injured in the fight. They are attached to the cart, but uh, you guys could use them if you if you so, so care to. Cart's still functional. The cart, the axle is actually broken on the cart. You're not sure if this was set up as a, as an ambush or if this was, it looks like there was a legitimate sauce dealer that was possibly ambushed yesterday, today, earlier. You don't know where, where the owner of the cart went, but uh, they didn't fare as well as you uh, guys Don't did. worry, I, I can fix this. I got, I got some tools on me. I'm gonna oh. go ahead and try it and fix it with a hammer and nails. Hammer and nails, sure. That is how you fix the axle of things. I have an intelligence <laughs> of seven. I don't know sure. that. Sure, roll, let's say, um, Let's say a grace check because grace is sort of uh, fi fine, uh, fine. Nineteen. Great. All right. Yeah. It turned out that the axle had just popped out, <laughs> and you just had to pop it back in and put one single nail in there. Totally good to go. You the guys University have University of Phoenix pays off. <laughs> the skills, life skills, eventually come into play. Um, my cardboard carriers are barking, so I am going to pop a squat. <laughs> <laughs> um, you you uh, survey the area. Um, the lifeless bodies of the fry fiends are around. Um, you know what? How about if you're going to go into the cart, how about snacks and um, hog? <laughs> or just roll an intelligence check uh, to see if you see anything else nearby. That was a one. I'm too busy looking at my juicy big chest. Oops. Big oops. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a juicy chest. <laughs> oh, look Can at you do that thing with the pecs that go yeah. up and down? Oh, no, 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 no. oh yeah. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> look at me, everyone! Oh, 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 it's so juicy. Hey, buddy, horses, look at this over here. <laughs> well, Snacks rolled a six because she's just staring at Hog's pecs. <laughs> <laughs> For like an hour, we're all just like, all right. <laughs> Look at him go. It's like what a, are we doing oh, again? Uh, yes. It's like a choppy shoreline. It's <laughs> mesmerizing. The juices pop off. <laughs> it's, yes. like a, it's like a visual vacation. I want to take my whole family there. <laughs> visual vacation. <laughs> wow. Amazing. How the, the <laughs> bacon just undulates. <laughs> can we, uh, as we're staring at his undulating chest, mm -hmm. uh, can we take a snack break? A little? Yes, you guys can definitely use this as a snack break oh. and heal yourself up to six. Uh, up to D6, six, right? I think you roll a d6. That's a cocktail. Uh, three. That's better. Okay. Okay. You didn't take any, didn't damage. Take any damage. Antarctica. Nobody yeah, touches I'm, her. I'm great. <laughs> Um, just in case, let's have Antarctica roll an intelligence check as well, just oh. to see if she can spot anything. Okay, all right, all right. Don't fail me, Wendy! No, that's not great. Eight. Okay. Well, would you guys like to continue along your journey? Yeah. All right. Come on, little buddies. We're going to take you on an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! The cart uh, moves uh, a little faster now down... Um, down the road, the horses are calm and they follow your every command. What should we name them? Good call. Good question. We have two horses. Yeah, we got two. Two little, little hooved buddies here. Careful. 
Don't make it a meat-based name. <laughs> so you're named Careful, and your meat-based name. <laughs> God. Careful. Great. Careful you know, meat horses. Name. One of the few safe animal animals in Fresh That's Tobio. True. That is true. These guys got Very long true. job security. They're great. Mm-hmm. Um, you ride quickly uh, and without incident along the road, passing signs uh, for offshoot roads, um, for other points of in- interest that we won't be visiting tonight, like the French Fry Forest, <laughs> Nuggetton, Biggie Vale. Is that where my, you're from? Uh, my, my grandparents, yeah. Mm. Makes you a little homesick. Uh, <laughs> Costa del Spicy. <laughs> and the Beef Gate. These are real places in the guidebook. The Beef Gate. The Beef Gate. <laughs> Not. Continue, don't please. No. Please don't. Please don't. Yeah. <laughs> please don't <laughs> spend too much time on that one. <laughs> and our... it's tasty. Oh, oh no. <laughs> t- we are tasty yeah, beef people. Is tasty. The, the beef people. That's what. Well, we're gonna take it right. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna take a break. We're gonna take a break. It's time to take a break. Um, thanks. Uh, we're gonna take a brief intermission right here um, and go uh, enjoy some some relaxing time. Uh, thanks to our friends so far uh, at Wendy's for providing us with this feast of legends. Uh, we'll be back in a few minutes to play more of this game, and we can't wait to see you here after a quick break. See you soon. I want to go to the beef gate now. <laughs> <laughs> got perfect warlock, her weapons and supplies. But you need a place to track your stuff, because you're so disorganized. You click open the web page. You heard about a critical role. And now you're ready to kick some butt in the mind shop for the no. Like a symphony playing to an empty theater, Critical Role dines alone without its audience. Yes, that validating and most enthusiastic congregation on the other side of the fourth wall. And what is this fourth wall separating the viewer from the creator? A portal to an often sought point of connection? Or the Twitch subscription zone? On the rare occasion that you miss the live bacchanal boasted by the ragtag group of thespians on Thursday night, you may always view the show on demand in the Shadowland known as the Twitch Subscription Zone. Picture, if you will, the necessary pieces to complete a jigsaw puzzle, but it's up to you to choose how it will be solved. You could, of course, subscribe with your debt rectangle, but many more divergent paths lie before you. Perhaps you found yourself in possession of an Amazon Prime account. You would then wake up to discover a free Twitch subscription each month for a channel of your choosing. But this artifact demands renewal, for you must resubscribe each month to quench its unyielding thirst. One need not walk alone. Those who have already found their way can illuminate the path for others via the gift a sub button on Twitch. Critical Role is humbled by your subscription and wishes to thank you from behind the thin veil of this fourth wall. We hope you enjoy our content as much as we enjoy making it. And so ends another meandering digression, a complicated parody promo down an indistinct highway to the region we call the Twitch Subscription Zone. You 
will subscribe. Twitch Prime subscribe. Gift subscribe. Subscribe.
Hello and welcome back to the Feast of Legends. Uh, here we are at the Critical Role stage playing uh, this game that was created by our friends at Wendy's. It's a real game and we're really playing it. Um, so let's dive into the second half. Uh, our, our heroic four-person party of Bunsmen is making their way uh, on a very dangerous and important mission for Queen Wendy. Uh, when we last left you, you were nearing the village of uh, the Frosty Canyon Village. It's a much smaller town than the capital of Freshtopia. There are a few homes on the east side, a general store and a snakesmith. Nope, a snacksmith. <laughs> 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 no scanning. <laughs> There's a snake seller, <laughs> and right next to him, <laughs> right next to him, a snack seller. They get confused a lot, and a lot of people in town have vicious bite marks on their <laughs> arms. <laughs> um, the snacksmith here specializes in spoons. Uh, the village is next to two large ponds the chocolate frosty pond and the vanilla frosty pond. Uh, it's a tourist destination. People love to come and swim in vanilla frosty and they typically go and uh, they fish in cho the chocolate frosty pond. Uh, it's, I hear it has restorative properties as well. As <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> um, uh, you walk through, uh, you, you, uh, you ride through the town, you're on your horse and carts. Um, seeing the sights, smelling the smells, hearing the sounds of, uh, of people going about their, their day. It's, uh, it's probably the late afternoon now, well, or mid-afternoon, two or three o'clock. Um, and is there anything that you would like to do? Any stops you would like to make? Yes, Cross Sir Hogwild? Walk up to the snacksmith. Mm -hmm. And then continue walking up to the snake smith. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tell me about your snakes. I'm very interested. Okay, so you walk into the snake smith store. Uh, <laughs> the the, uh, the door jingles uh, when you open. And uh, <laughs> you're greeted by uh, a bunch of uh, of cages of, of snakes, um, and uh, a very strange. Uh, a very strange young woman whose name is, uh, let's say, Chilbo Bacons. Uh, um, and uh, she, she says to you, oh, hello, I'm so happy to see you. No one comes into my store normally because of the venomous, dangerous snakes I have everywhere. Most people want to go eat snacks next door. No, I want a snake, but I want a big, thick one that is brown and has a pinkish center that goes down the back. I want this snake that looks like a strip of bacon. Oh! oh didn't quite know where you were going with that one. <laughs> Got scared for a moment, but then realized it's all fun and games. You want a bacon constrictor? Yes, a bacon constrictor. A bacon constrictor. Yes. Well, you do seem like a fit enough person to handle such a such a creature. They will run you five gold. Oh, I have more than enough gold to get a bacon constrictor. I have enough gold to get two bacon constrictors. I I only have the one. All it's right, then I'll buy one. <laughs> All right. So sure, you just bought. <laughs> A snake. <laughs> hey guys, I bought a snake. Well, I, I bought a snake. I have a snake. It's on my arm. Guys, that's a lot, let's, right now. Let's we're, say we're um, it, it, it slithers up your gigantic, juicy, thick arm. Um, it thinks maybe uh, it, it smells you. You do smell like food, like all of you do. <laughs> um, and it gets a little. Uh, it starts to lick you to, to smell you more. Why don't you charm it to make sure uh, that it doesn't attack you? You have a bonus for me and the frosty plus two. <laughs> You're only able to lick me, snake. <laughs> On the d uh, eight. Okay. Uh, the snake uh, is wrapping itself around you, coiling tighter and tighter. It's giving you a nice warm hug that turns into a, a pretty pretty significant hug, which turns into actual actual pain. Oh, it's ouch. it's starting to try to choke you out. Uh, why don't you roll a strength check to see if you can beat the, the snake's strength. You're gonna beat the snake. The bacon constrictor. Hog is bacon wrapped. No. Would you roll? I'm gonna say the contested Six. strength check. 
the, the, the snake got an 11, so it's starting to, Ooh. you're starting to you, uh, start to feel a little suffocation yeah, here. Yeah, how you doing, buddy? You need any help? Oh, you, instead of asking me if I need help, how about you tell me how cool I look? Oh, you look amazing. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I'm yeah, I pull out my fork and okay. start uh, forking the snake a little bit to try to help him out there. Are you going to attack the snake or just pry it off gently? Uh, I'm going to exert pressure with the prongs of my fork to hopefully pull it away. We'll call it a strength check. All right, go for a strength check. Let's see what you got. Okay. That's a 12. Okay, the snake only rolled a four. So uh, easily, you watch as this tiny young lady, uh, much less strong than you, is able to find the perfect amount of leverage and just the right point using her knowledge of, of nature and snakes to just pry it right off. It's all about the pressure points. Boy, all right. The bacon, giant snake. That's a lot of layered imagery. Yeah, very. You've got a big family. I've uh, got a big family. Yeah. You ever think about making a bacon bunch? I'm thinking about it right now. <laughs> we survive this. We'll follow that path. All right, we'll keep it juicy and we'll keep it thick. <laughs> wow, is there a love connection happening right here in the snake shack? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> before the game even began, Sam. Wow. As you guys... Uh, Can uh, I uh, come to your... Baptism. <laughs> I, I just, if you're looking for an aunt, Antarctica is here. I'm volunteering. Oh, such friends. <laughs> so quickly. Uh, well, there won't be a baptism. I'm uh, a part of the Church of Friendology. <laughs> 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 That might may leave before the end of the night. <laughs> I, I feel insane. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, baking constrictor in hand, you guys leave the snack shack uh, and and move on. Uh, as you as you leave. A familiar voice to you, Antarctica, calls out, mm, Hello! Uh, hello there! Is uh, that you, Antarctica? Yes, hello, Prince Carter. It's Prince Carter. She, uh, she recognizes... We're looking for that guy. Instantly, that guy! A young man with a curly brown hair and glasses who's flanked on either side by very large men wearing heavy bacon armor. They're clearly his bodyguards. Prince uh, Carter is a, is a fancy young man. Um, he spends most of his time on social media. So um, he's he's got a little bit of a, a pasty pasty skin, um, but uh, he's he's out uh, out and about, and he's uh, walking with a spring in his step. He greets you. Um, uh, hello, everyone. I am Prince Carter of Nuggeton. Um, my doctor sent me to the canyon to relax and enjoy the the calming chilly air. Um, I was just about ready to go home when my bodyguards heard something in the local tavern. Um, some intelligence that I passed along to the queen herself. Are you here to follow up on that tip? We are, actually. <laughs> are you? <laughs> yes. Okay. Of course. Roll a, you guys have a sorted history. Roll a charm check to make sure that likes what you're selling. Yeah, um, uh, 13. All right. <clears throat> All right. I, I suppose you're a trustworthy song. <laughs> oh, hi. What's your name? Oh, uh, uh, let me be the first to say it's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> You're supposed to be here to meet you, so I feel like we're already partially done with our quest. It's just exciting to meet like a, you know, important person. Well, yes, I, I do reside in a tower in Nuggeton. And Are you a prince, or is just that your name? I, I am the prince of, of Nuggeton. Is yes, also your name? I'm royalty. Mm -hmm. I don't, he just kind of did it himself right. one day. I'm Tweezel. Uh, oh, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you all. Let's just get down to brass tacks, shall we? Mm. <clears throat> I found that the minions of the Ice Jester are planning to sabotage the chili fields near Freestyle Falls, about two hours west of here. What's that word mean? Sabotage? Yes. Um, to cause uh, irreparable harm to, in a uh, preemptive manner, to destroy it before it can be used, I think. Oh. Well, we have a different word for that. What's that? Sabotage. Oh, it's sabotage. <laughs> These people are weird. <laughs> it's true. Yes. Um, if you if you head out soon, you could be able to reach the fields before the bad guys do. 
Do you have any weapons or, or anything for this fight that's ahead of you? Oh. <laughs> and my snake over there! <laughs> <laughs> you guys look, and there's a snake. Uh, it's wrapping itself around a small dog, and it's okay. about to kill the dog. <laughs> it's just running loose around town. <laughs> Are you going to yeah. do anything to it? We also have a small dog now. <laughs> <laughs> For about three minutes. <laughs> um, Ow! Get it out of there. <laughs> okay, so without fail, Snacks pries the dog out <laughs> and runs away. Yes, Carter, we're quite capable, but do you have any artifacts or anything that could help us on our adventures? I'm gonna little spoon him. Oh, okay, your little spoon, your I'm char- gonna, charming. I'm just gonna yeah. little spoon. Okay, is that just, it just happens or do you have to roll an arcana? Uh, he has to roll. To save. A, to save. A 14 or something? A 12. A 12. Ooh, 11. Ooh. <laughs> He's instantly, uh, his demeanor warms to you. Yes. Uh, and he and he remembers fond times that you spent together in your youth. <sighs> you know, we don't talk about it much, but well, your we bad had... wedding problem. Well, I wasn't going to bring up that. I was oh, going, I'm sorry. I just, I just... <laughs> bring up the Queen sorry. Wendy's bat mitzvah that we went to. Oh, I know, wasn't it fantastic? It was. It was amazing. Oh, I loved and we, it. We were we were at that kid table together, but it was really nice to spend some wow. time. With you. Yes. Yes, I can hook you up. I've okay. got some extra gear that you might want. Give it. Give it all. So he reaches out and hands you uh, oh, two drive-through headsets. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> They're used what? to communicate with each other uh, from far distances. Uh, you, oh, only two of you, two of you can wear them, but when you talk to each other, you have to do this. <laughs> that's not in the book. That's just something I'm homebrewing. <laughs> Um, but you can talk at a distance of up to 120 feet uh, Ooh, okay. uh, with some minor static interference. <laughs> um, and That's you, Tweezel, you seem like a sort that helps his friends and heals people. Is that true? Oh, whenever the occasion allows, yeah. Um, all right, so uh, he's going to hand you over a, uh, a six pack of nuggets. Oh, God. <laughs> Clumsily, but I appreciate the offer. But these nuggets are different from uh, the nuggets that you enjoy for snacks and meals. These are glowing uh, golden um, with an arcane golden power. And you know from your experience that they can heal, uh, I think it's 1d4 damage per nugget. Maybe it's Uh. 1d6, I don't remember. I'll look at later. (laughs) Flush them down the drain, someone's dying tonight! If your party gets in trouble, you may need to use those. I don't know. The woman's very uh, persuasive. And I go and turn towards the nearest latrine. Wait, you're gonna you're gonna dump him? Oh, that was a joke. Oh, but you could go for it. So that'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> I have intelligence of seven. <laughs> sure. Yo, what, are, what are, I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? Those those each cost me fifty gold each. <laughs> I don't know. The lady's very forceful in her opinion. Yeah, give them, give them, don't Stop. flush them down the toilet. Give oh. them back to me. Oh, well, it was a gift though. Uh. Uh, it is his choice. And what uh, he wants to do with the gift. That is not the point of a gift. You give it over and then they choose what they want to do with it. Yeah. Isn't that right? Sure. Yeah, I got it. Let me, <laughs> let me put him into the toilet for you. All right, thank you. I pocket him. Great. <laughs> I'll roll a grace check to see if uh, Tweezel sees you do this. Maybe he does. Uh, that's an eight. Okay, roll an intelligence check to contest. Huh. Feast mode. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you definitely see him pocket the nugs. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna uh, argue or? <laughs> <laughs> I see it happening and just going, huh, that's a pretty cool trick. Yeah, I was keystroking him for later. So what? I get hungry for snacks. I'm snacks. <laughs> <laughs> also, doesn't... we have to feed Sizzle. Are oh, you yeah. snake? <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, you act right. To buy you, it came out of my Metreon fund. Sizzle starts to. <laughs> Got so many Metreon subscriptions. Oh boy. You see uh, the nugget go into uh, Sizzle. Uh, the snake's mouth, and you can see a nugget shape sort of slowly slide down its throat and into its body. Does Sizzle look empowered by the nug? Yes, Sizzle has uh, 
it slithers with an, an extra little boost of energy. Ooh. Yeah. I'll lean over to Snacks and put my hand on her shoulder and just kind of get down close and be like, look, friend. Yeah, big guy? If ever you need something, just ask. You don't have to take it from me. There's no secrets between friends. Oh, well, me and the rest of the six packer used to looking out just for ourselves. I understand, but you're not part of a fresh family. <laughs> Good job, Matt. <laughs> so just be honest. If you're looking to feel a little peckish, well, back in my home, we're happy to provide home style. Are right, what are you two whispering about over there? Oh. We're being family. All right, you know. Don't worry, baby, it's Dick. Look, it's <laughs> it's Rick Rick all right. <laughs> I'm all into polypattery, but you know, it's all, it's, you gotta, it's a, it requires a lot of communication. I don't need you just going off sneaking and whispering. Too many cooks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as the late day sun starts to <laughs> <laughs> turn from uh, yellow to orange to reds, uh, you realize if you're going to make this assault to d- uh, assault today, you should probably get moving, or you could wait and try in the morning. I do some of my best work at night. As do I. I like the chilly air in the evening. I'll take a nap in the cart. <laughs> okay. So you guys set off. Uh, you ride west uh, from town for a couple of hours. You pass the fizzling, sparkling freestyle falls, fast moving rapids that splash down into a river. Uh, flowing through the middle of Frosty Canyon. It's not water, though. It's actually tropical berry lemonade. (laughs) With its pink color and effervescent aroma. And it is the most glorious set you've ever seen that has been created to satisfy a corporate sponsor. Um, As you... uh, But to get to your destination, it looks like you're going to have to dismount and cross a bridge strung across the Freestyle Falls, about 25 feet above the water. Um, you guys see, a, it's a rickety old bridge made out of, I don't know, let's just say pickles and onions. <laughs> uh, sure. It's seen better it's better years, um, but it seems like you could probably get across it without the horses and carts, of course. How far across is it? About? Uh, the span is about 40 feet. 40 feet. Yeah. Step outside of the cart and go ahead and take both the horses by the reins and unhitch them from the wagon. Careful. Meat base name. <laughs> it's been a short life together, but I've, you've left a lasting impression on me, and I hope we've done the same. But go free, go free into the hills. Yeah, go. Clip clop, clip clop, clip clop, clip clop. They ride away free, but the one you call meat base name turns around, and you sense a tear in his horse eye, go. dripping. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me make this any harder than it has to be. Just get out of here. And it turns and rides away. We lose our mounts in any game we play. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> um, all right. If you'd like to uh, give me an order for how you'd like to cross the the, the bridge. I forget the two, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Do you guys I'll, remember? I'll take uh, I'll take third from front. I think I should go first. I'm the lightest. Okay, you're yellow, right? Yeah. yeah. And I should definitely go last as the heaviest and thickest of Are the you? bunch. Yeah. Okay. Well then, okay. let's start. Uh, we'll have order of the frosty right after. After snacks. All right, I want to do it on the Two fucking works. <laughs> <laughs> sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, that's fine. Um, all right, um, go ahead, snacks, and make a grace roll to see how you fare crossing this bridge. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay. It's a big oops. All right. <laughs> You watch as Snacks deftly hops from pickle to pickle, but hits an onion that is a little gooier than the rest and slips off, falling 25 feet, suffering two points of damage because uh, you land with with grace. You land on a rock outcropping, um, seemingly safe 25 feet below the the bridge's span. and uh, you feel more embarrassed than anything else. It's a, it's a big oof to your to your butt, but that's about it. 
All right, guys, I guess you gotta go on without me. I did my best, but it just wasn't good. Come on, I'll climb up. Uh, there, you're right in the middle of the of the stream. There is nothing to climb on. You could you could try to swim out of it, but well, first, it, the, no way. Raise, first I drink some <laughs> of the of the river. Yes. Okay. You you kneel down and cup the uh, the lemonade in your hand, and go to sip it, and that's when you see the eyes of a jalapeno cuda <laughs> staring at you from inside the rapids. <laughs> it's a vicious fish. You know this from your experience. Uh, it bites you with, uh, when it bites you, it, it, it can kill. These things can swarm and kill. And they're gonna start out, uh, jump out from the from the river and start biting you right now. Okay. Um, uh, two I of them bite, okay. That's one it. of them hits. And do I see this at all? You guys all see this happening. You you hear your friend uh, yelp in pain as he takes Sizzle. three Save points of mother. damage. <laughs> <laughs> throw the snake. You throw the snake in? Okay. Uh, roll for the snake's grace check. <laughs> Bunch. 13. 13, okay. The snake lands right on top of snacks. <laughs> and now you've got a, a baking constrictor on you. <laughs> it doesn't know what to do. Now the jalapeno uh, kudas are gonna attack again. Uh, actually, you, you have a turn if you'd like to attack back, but they're, they're fish and they're jumping uh, out of the way. I'm going to use uh, grab and go and safely get away from this fish. Uh-huh. This it's two yeah. fish. Two fish? Two fish, yeah. Uh, I, th I think it would apply to both if they're right there, sure, but I'm, sure. gonna, I'm just gonna back uh, five feet away and uh, toss the snake at them as I go. <laughs> okay, the fish viciously attack the bacon, <laughs> the bacon, uh, the constrictor. Wait, no! The bacon constrictor. Um, no! And you watch as the pink lemonade turns a, a shade of red <laughs> as the jalapeno kudas eviscerate uh, the, He's the snake. He's getting caramelized. Someone do something. <laughs> but for the time being, it seems that the jalapeno kudas uh, are no longer hungry for your nugget flesh. Don't worry, little nugget. We're coming for you. I'm going to go ahead and head out to the center of the bridge. Okay, we'll roll a grace check hug. to see if we can. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. No, no. E easily, deftly I'm moving go ahead around. And take my twenty-foot length of hooked chain. Okay. That was gifted to me by the spirit of my ancestor. <laughs> wow, how convenient. <laughs> throw it over the side, like, no, okay. Take a leap and catch. Okay, Swing so around. just jump up a little bit because yeah. you're a, you're a tiny. Yeah. Okay, give I'll, us the grace roll. I will parkour off a rock and roll. Okay. Uh, that is a 14. Totally enough to do it. You watch his snacks. Hoo, hoo, parkour is up, grabs onto the chain, holds on easily as you pull it up. Come on, little friend. I watch as the snake corpse floats down the river and say, is that on the Wendy's menu? <laughs> Maybe it is now. <laughs> this is awkward. Without too much trouble, you guys continue across the, uh, the rest of the pickle and onion bridge. I'm so sorry. I'm so sad. I'm so sorry. All is sauced. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, friend. It's a worthy sacrifice, like many a warriors out here in these dangerous lands. Let us never forget. He died bravely being thrown into the water as a sacrifice. <laughs> quite possibly no reason, because he was about to be saved. <laughs> We'll, we'll speak right. stories to your children in your return. You're right. Uh, Such a fry, baby. Oh, boy. Man, you came locked and loaded. I thought I prepared. Man. All right, guys, let us get going. Oh, my God. Shortly after the running in the river, the chili fields come into view. Huge chili drills and mechanical chili pumps sucking crude chili out of the earth as rig workers maintain the equipment and slurp chili snacks. There are vast, dangerous pools of boiling hot chili that sort of bubble up to the surface. They smell delightful, but could kill you in an instant. This is the encrustrial district. Mm -hmm. You have sure. to be careful. Sure, sure. They know they're drilling out the life's blood of fresh topia. <laughs> <laughs> the air is spicy and smells sharp to your noses with cumin and garlic. Even the trees near here are colored a surreal red, the cayenne from the underground chili veins seeping into their roots. 
And next to the fields, Just towering... Like Chernobyl. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow. Never forget. <laughs> I'm sorry. The casualties were endless. Everyone, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think... I think this... This show tonight is sponsored by Wendy's, but it's also sponsored by I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Endless amount of apology. <laughs> <laughs> Snacks pulls out a small doohickey, a little meter. Oh, 200 ramekins. <laughs> <laughs> no, not bad. Not bad. Could be worse. Oh, boy. <laughs> next to the fields, next to the fields towering above them, you can see uh, sort of the silhouette of the famed Biggie Hill, a huge stack of hamburgers that serves as a sort of lookout point for this whole area. The sun is just about set now. The fields seem pretty normal, no sign of attack. And uh, it's about this moment that the workers sort of clock out for the evening and go home. They file out, um, get on their carts and, and, and ride away, leaving you all alone. Would you like to do anything? prepare anything. This is this is the point where, just to refresh your memories, uh, they said that agents of the Ice Jester were en route, but I guess oh, they haven't... It's not too late, but I'd like to stop and have a snack before we continue. Sure. I think that's that a be good. viable option. You can find a spot to have a snack? Sure. Oh, and heal up. Are rough. These oh. large towers, they're very beautiful, but I can't help but think of the Felution uh, that, that they... Uh, the full ocean. The full Lucian? Yeah, the full Lucian. That they, uh, you take six points of damage. <laughs> Instantly, a Baconator sandwich flies in and, and hits you in the face. <laughs> it was worth it. Night falls. You guys uh, keep awake, keep a watchful eye. Um, well, not just that, but uh, one of the great skills taught me by my family, the order of the Homestock Chicken Sandwich, is to always remember home is where the hearth is. I go ahead and grab out a pouch of various spices and herbs and cook up a protective campfire to try and keep bandits away. Oh, that's perfect. If I roll high enough. Okay, go ahead and roll for Arcana, I guess? Which I do not. <laughs> well, it's a nice fire. Uh, it just doesn't seem to glow with that natural ma magical uh, properties that you've seen in, in past magical fires that you've created. But it is warming and uh, comforting, and it casts some light. Um, as you, as the night progresses, why don't all of you roll? Uh, I guess an intelligence check to see if you notice anything in the area. One good roll tonight. Come on, just one. Nope. Nineteen. Four. Ten. Six. Well, as all of you are sort of dozing off to sleep, Tweezel hears a sound in the distance. The crunch and clang of machinery. Careful. And a mad, distant cackling. <laughs> That's not careful. <laughs> it's, uh, it's coming from just around the, the corner. What would you like to do? I'm gonna quickly Snuff the flames and quick, quietly. Friends, friends, time to wake up. It looks like we're about to be besieged by dangerous clown entities. <laughs> uh, are, Shh, are you? Don't are, laugh. Are you we're staying in great put? Danger. Why don't we hide? Okay. Okay. So go ahead and everyone roll grace to see if you can hide. No. No. Four. Okay. Eleven. Fifteen. <laughs> Feast mood. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so everybody but uh, Tweezel seems like they're pretty pretty well hidden. Um, you can see from around the corner uh, blue lights sort of flashing. It's not lightning, but it, 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 it resembles that in that it flickers and flashes, and you can sort of see the lights, the highlights uh, sort of dancing around scenery. Um, and you can hear the cackling getting closer and closer. Let's place you on the board, shall we? Oh, uh. oh. <laughs> your nourishment will be more severe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so these are the chili fields. That is beautiful. Oh, they're our little burgers. <laughs> oh, okay, no. let's, uh, let's say that 
that your campsite was around <laughs> over here. Um, so you guys are all kind of hiding, hiding around here. If you guys want to place yourselves or tell me where to place you, these guys don't stand up, do they? <laughs> I'm in the tree. You're in the yeah. tree, okay. I think I'm hidden, but I'm just like standing behind a rock that's about half my size. All right, I'll just stick you. Put me there, that's for sure. Okay, under this table. Under the table, <laughs> great. Um, all right, you see before you, um, let's see here, what do we got? <laughs> Um, there's a yeah, there's a large field in front of you uh, with a couple of larger chili pools um, and a smaller one uh, with chili hot chili just bubbling up to the surface. Everyone, it's like a tar pit basically. Um, there are a couple of trees dotting the area. Some equipment left overnight by some of the rig workers. Uh, the ground here is dark, looking like it was burned by constant heat. Um, and approaching the larger of the two pools, you hear a, you see a a, a figure walking, uh, walking towards this large pool over here, and he's he's got something with him. Um, uh, you see a flash of light um, as you see uh, a blue beam shoot out, out of a large circular contraption that looks sort of like an enormous hair dryer, almost. It is uh, sending out a, a beam of blue light that is starting to freeze this chili pool right here. Freeze it solid. I'm gonna just use Matt's stuff. <laughs> uh, and you can see that this is this gentleman here is is uh, in the act of sabotaging the, the chili fields as you watch. It freezes that one solid. Um, a night a night watchman runs out to stop him, but the uh, but the figure aims the beam of energy straight at the night watchman, and he instantly is freeze dried, and shatters into a thousand pieces. The figure cackles with glee, uh, standing over his shattered icy bo body. You already checked for stealth, um, so the, uh, the this figure is gonna look around, and spot was it you, Matt? Who yeah, that rolled really bad. He sees out of the corner of his eye you in the distance and waves his hand across his face, disappears, and in a flash of light and smoke appears right next to you. Oh, hey there, friend. In a green shroud, you see a blue ice-flecked, uh, a blue ice-flecked hair poking out from under his hood. He wears black paint around his eyes like some sort of discount superhero and a large neckerchief that says, frozen beef. He whispers to you, that's right, hold your applause. Autograph line is to the right. It's me, your favorite bad guy, the Beef Bandit. <laughs> may I? Let's all first roll for delicative, mm -hmm. if you may. <laughs> oh, why is it always bad? Okay, who's 15 to 20? Nope. Nobody? Nope. Okay. Um, Beef Bandit got a good one. Uh, anybody 12, uh, 10 to 15? Nope. nope. Super bad. Anybody 5 to 10? 8. 7. 5. 1. Okay. Oh. So 8 was Freezel, right? Mm, uh, Dweezel. 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 Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for your stupid name. Fine. Uh, Dweezel, then Antarctica, then uh. Snacks. And then Hogwild. Yes, I was going to propose and ask, uh, since I feast moded in my hide, if I could be behind him and him not know. Uh, where uh, you want to be behind whom? Uh, the the, the, be beef, the beef bandits. Yes. Uh, okay, like right right up against that chili that chili pit. Yeah, I guess you could say I want to oh meat wash and him. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. Uh, sure, uh, I'll, I'll allow you to get, uh, this is you, right? No, yes? Mm -hmm. I'll allow you to get to about here without him uh, him noticing. Uh, yes, close enough. Um, but the Beef Bandit is going to roll first. Where's his stats? Okay, he is going to make an attack on you. Uh, Tweezel, Dweezel, Dweezel, whatever your name is. <laughs> Tweezel. <laughs> Tweezel. <laughs> Um, and he's going to roll a double strike, attacking twice, once with a slap to the face, and once with something called an oh-so-clumsy. He rolls an eight and a nine. Oh, nice try, buddy, but uh, ping ping. Wow. Uh, the Beef Bandit's hands slap against you, but ricochet off with almost no effort. That's he, adorable. 
in the dark, he didn't notice how big and strong you were. You do. And now a, a look of concern grows on his face, but he covers it quickly with a mad cackle. <laughs> I can see the concern anyway. <laughs> All right, uh, up next is you, Matt. Go for it. Well, no, my friends are around me, relatively well hidden. I look at him and say, oh, don't worry. I came packing. Family. Ooh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah, because you're family now. And this is all, all trash. Gonna, <laughs> and they're all going to be extra right crispy. <laughs> and I put out my hands as my, my, my sigil of, of my order glows, and all of you suddenly feel around your body coalescing Ooh. crispy breaded armor <laughs> as I use my Team Crispy feature. Sure, sure. If it works, which it does. Yes, what does that mean? That's a 17. You guys... Uh, well, everyone within 10 feet of me, which I think is everyone except... I'm in the tree. Actually, you guys are pretty close there. No, I'm like, out of distance. Uh, you get uh, plus two to your defense and resistance to all non-magic damage for three rounds. Ooh. That's a pretty good buff. Um, all right, up next is Aunt Arctica. Oh, yes, and I say, who mentioned family? It's a reunion. And then I'm going to, what am I gonna do? Oh, I'm gonna do two spoons again. Okay, what's that remind me again? It's the mirage. <laughs> oh, that's the mirage effect. It's the mirage okay. effect. Okay, um, so you're under the table right now, but you stand up, get, get his attention, and you cast the second mirage. Go. And I cast a mirage, and I want it to look like a terrifying Pennywise, but with like ketchup coming out of Ooh. the eyes. Ooh, scary and clown. Dripping in sweat, and he's like, What are you doing, Beef Master? Okay. You're okay. sabotaging it all up. Okay, go ahead and roll for, for your arcana. Okay, sorry. Um, 12. What do you have? Oh, wait, 14, I failed. Oh, no. So, the, I guess, what? what's the bonus? I don't know. What what's bonus your arcana? Yeah, plus, plus, two. plus two. I rolled a 10. Yeah. Mm. Um, <laughs> the, the effect works. There's a, a, an amazing looking clown that appears right next to the beef bandit. The beef bandit turns, scared, but as the clown says the word sabotage, the beef bandit realizes it's just an illusion that everyone down here calls it sabotage. <laughs> <laughs> and it instantly obliterates in front of the beef bandit um, with no effect. Next up is, uh, do you want to move or do anything else on your no, I'll get back under the table. <laughs> okay, I, don't, I, I think he didn't notice you, so you're okay. okay. Uh, Snacks, go for it. Is it nighttime yet? It is definitely nighttime. Okay, Snacks comes running along a little branch on the tree, drops, lands on the shoulders of this dude right here. Mm-hmm. Uh, whispers in his ear, sky is falling, chick stain. And I, uh, oh, yes! <laughs> uh, pull up the four piece of salt again at advantage because it is uh, late night craving time. Sure. <laughs> wow. So four attacks, all at advantage. First is low. This is a six. Second is eight. No! What's going on? The snacks. Feast mode. Okay. Number three. Full damage. And seven. Oh my god! You get to roll that one again because on your next attack you get uh, advantage because you went into feast. It's already mode. advantage. Oh, I see. I see. I see. So it's just full advantage. So that's six for one of the nuggets. Six. Six damage. Great. And then I'm going to use my other skill, my last skill, grab and go, and just roll off his back. See you later. And Whoa. roll backwards. Whoa! Back here behind the base of the tree. Amazing. Knocking over everything. As I it's go. okay. I made this very quickly. Um, the beef bandit uh, is moves way faster than you predicted, deftly dodging three of your four attacks, but you're able to connect with just one right in his neck. Ah! He uh, he recoils in pain as you cause a, a big, meaty, meaty attack. He's still looking fine, though. Uh, he goes to swipe at you, but you're already gone. Next up in the order is Hog Wild. What would you like to do? <laughs> it's night, and it's where I thrive, because now I have late night craving Ooh. and I can attack with advantage. And I swing both <laughs> my spatula and frying pan. Frying pan. At him to see what will happen. So this is for the frying pan. So I'll go with uh, 15. Does that do? Uh, that does hit. Yes, correct. All right, and this one's for the spatula. 
All right, let's do it again. Uh, tin? Miss. Okay, so just for the frying pan. Uh, Go ahead and roll damage. Uh, uh, you right. swing, you swing up. He tries to duck out of the way, but you arc it down right at the last minute and catch and him right in the shoulder. Too late, bucko. And I do two damage. <laughs> <laughs> it's a glancing blow, but he still takes uh, some damage. And but how about I make it a double and swing again? Oh, all right. Get two actions. All right, so we're going to do 14. Uh, that hits, right? 14? Yes, oh, yes, it does. Fine, yes, his defense right, is 13. Now we're going to do the spatula. No, that's a 14. Let's see if I can get the uh, 16. Great, yeah. Right. Right. Oh, Those right. are two, two more hits, is that right? Yes, two more hits. All right, go ahead and roll uh, the damage. That's it. We're going to uh, do some uh, shit. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I oh, and uh, 11 damage. That's a big, big hit. You, <laughs> you yes! drive him back with thunderous attacks. Um, he's right teetering at the edge. Into the chili. Like, oh, the of fresh the fake out. You're like, oh, you think you're safe? <laughs> <laughs> um, furious, the beef bandit says, oh, you want to play? We can play. And he will attack you with... Uh, let's do, oh, so clumsy. He's gonna roll uh, on you, um, if he and rolls a 17. What's your defense? Right now, it's a 20. What? Yes. How is that even possible? Let's do the, the, from I, the breaded man. Oh. 18 base, wow. so even, even without the bread. But now it's even embarrassing, because it's like, oh, and a little bit gets in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> What gets in this A little bit of the breading. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Show down some of that homo style. Right. <laughs> he grabs you with his claws and pulls you, trying to throw you into the chili, but only gets some breadcrumbs that fly in his face. He is now partially breaded. He growls in, with you in anger and uh, disappears using his teleport feature, reappearing. Uh, right over here in safety behind his next opponent. All right, it is your turn, uh, Tweezel. 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 All right. Well, seeing as how you've had such a hard time Tweezel. this past battle, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna add a little flavor to it. I'm gonna go ahead and take out of my pocket there some finely ground pepper and salt and other sort of uh, assorted spices. I'm gonna go ahead and Chuck it at both of you. <laughs> so, open wide, friends. <laughs> Family. <laughs> that is the theme of tonight's game. <laughs> throwing salt at family. Hey, you said fryer dies. <laughs> I'm right. just in awe at these two seasoned <laughs> veterans. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Don't break that? Nope. <laughs> That's how you do it. Set them up. Knock them down. Knock them down. Both of you guys have advantage on your attack rolls the All next right. turn. Right. And sure enough, up next is Ant, Arctica. All right, since my damn mirage failed, and I see him, oh, is he not teetering on the edge of chili anymore? He's not, but you can, do, you can do stuff. You've got stuff. You've got a ukulele. <laughs> it's been a long time since you pushed someone in lava. That's what I really wanted to do. All right, I take out my ukulele. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. I don't know either. I'm gonna do just a spoon attack okay. with my ukulele. Okay. Well, you know, uh, an ukulele does have sort of a spoon, a spoon shape. Type shape. Sure, yes. Sure. I'm gonna improv spoon it. Okay. Um, and do a little wackadoo. Are you? With my go ahead ukulele. and roll for roll for a hit on All the right. on the ukulele. Okay. Roll the ukulele. Uh, wait, do I add anything? No, no. 12. Uh, you hear calming Hawaiian music <laughs> <laughs> coming out of your ukulele as it bing, uh, hits his elbow. It doesn't cause any damage, but he does now have your attention uh, and looks at you with his bandit face and bandit eyes and snarls. Anything else you'd like to attempt to do? Um, I say, wait! Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't mean to hit you with my ook. You didn't? I meant to smooth like a uh, suede fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say roll a charm roll, but I'm not sure what you're doing. <laughs> what I'm trying to do. Wait, I meant to serenade you with my ah. 
Great. <laughs> Melodic and smooth tones. She's the mirage. <laughs> She's always been. And I try to try to charm okay. him to keep him some from attacking us. Some lovely Hawaiian music starts playing, and you roll a charm check. I guess. I guess. What do I do here? I don't know. This is we're making this I up as we go. Your, your roll should Four, be over. Fourteen. Sure. 14. Fourteen. I'll roll. I'll roll his uh, intelligence to see if he can save on this. Um, he rolled. He only rolled a twelve on his intelligence, so okay. he is momentarily. We'll say he's distracted by. The soothing tones of your of your stringed instrument. Okay. He's solely focused on you, and I'll say that attacks against him right now will be at advantage for reasons. Sure. <laughs> sure. Next will be uh, snacks. You're up. Oh man, let's just finish this, and I start running towards Arctica, and I'm gonna attack that guy. Which one is you? Which troll? I'm, I think the, I'm the blue troll. Blue. You're yellow over here. Okay, Which I'm going. None of us can reach. I got it. I'm oh, going to use uh, grab and go feature to go double my movement. <laughs> and I'm going to jam my fork into his ghoulies. Great, do it. Roll for an attack at advantage. Because he's so distracted by the yeah. beautiful. 19. Uh, definitely hits. Advantage from home style. Yeah. That is a five of fork damage mm, to his grape nuts. That fork drives into his midsection. He howls out in pain. Uh, he's clearly outmatched here. Um, uh, uh, ne next up is Hog. Uh, if you'd like to do anything, you're right. You're right there, close at hand. You got advantage. Oh, then oh. you know, you know it's time <laughs> to sauce things up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. Deep freeze to the frying pan. Oh, and it's time to hit you <laughs> with my frying pan. I'm gonna hit you so hard, but first I'm gonna. Dump well, you know, <laughs> you're gonna hit him with a frying pan? And, and the spatula. And the spatula, yeah. great. Double. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do that again. No, that's better. 18 for great the hits. frying pan. All right, 17. Let's see if I can go beast mode. No, no, 18, already close enough. Uh, and 18 for the spatula. Great, both hit, roll for damage. I will roll for damage. Get up like that. Alright, I was ready to look into Matt's lap. Alright, so that's going to be 12 damage. Twelve Twelve damage. He is looking real, real rough right now. You know it would be even rougher if I hit him up. Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! Come on! One more time. Oh, go okay, get let me do that one Come on, Hog Wild. Alright, 19 for the frying pan. No, no. You get all these attacks. I'm sure I read the rules wrong. You I'm get you do nothing on your own. I am. Uh, so that's uh, 19 for also the special. Yeah, of course you hit. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes <laughs> a thousand okay. times. You, know, uh, you just, just you wait. Uh, you, you sit there. I'm gonna, ooh, I'm gonna make you pay. <laughs> uh, see. Oh, yes, you did all. <laughs> 16 damage. Uh, you have you have uh, leveled uh, a crushing death blow to this guy. You smash your weapons into him. He cries out, howling in pain, stumbling back into the chili, falling right at the, right at the edge. He calls out, "Frista, help me!" and falls dead into the lava uh, oh. and is instantly evaporated by the boiling hot lava. Order up. <laughs> Wilhelm scream. <laughs> <laughs> but a frosty uh, sort of assistant appears over here um, upon him calling out the name Frusta, uh, a, a deathly creature, um, great flailing ice tentacles um, uh, waving around. Um, it's got a hunched back and deep black eyes. The creature faces you. It, tentacles sway out of its face. Its arms are jagged with frozen crystals leading to long, sharp fingers. It's cursed with the ice of the deep freeze. It lets out a guttural, guttural roar and grabs the, um, the forever flash freezer and starts to make, make away with it. He's gonna try to make an escape. It's your your role, all of you guys. Do we need a new uh, uh, delicious? Nope, role? you're still you're still good. So right. uh, up next, Tweezel. All right, that being the case, a bit far away. I see the guy tumble into the into the chili, and it burns. 
his body. I'm like, I uh, got that on the roof of the mouth a few times. <laughs> oh, damn it, that one over there. I'm gonna start doing the movement to go around and get a little closer. Oh, this guy. And I don't have a whole lot to do at a four, five. distance. You can double, double move. One, two, yeah, we'll three, four, five. We'll just put you here. You're right, you moved pretty far. Not bad. <laughs> yeah, stop right there. Right there. Hey, I just gonna need the. Just, uh. That's my turn. All right, Antarctica. Anything okay. you'd like to do? This I'm creature going is to, trying to. I'm over here. Some. <laughs> I'm gonna assume my move is like 30 feet. It's like 25. 25. 25. I'm, I think, can I see him? Yeah, sure, you can see okay, him. Okay, I'm gonna use my ranged knife attack. Whoa, yeah, great, do I that. Have that. Sure, do that. Um, mm. You just see ice shards, crystals come out of Arctica's wrists. <laughs> In, she just shoots him. Great. <laughs> Great description. Go ahead and roll. <laughs> uh, once again, I guess I can only do this once. I don't know. I don't know. If he I gets to roll so four much. times a turn. I don't know how we're doing this. Let's see. You get to do it twice. I get one for each wrist. <laughs> Great. Yeah, sure. Uh, and I'm going to try and knock the uh, deep freeze out of his head. Very smart. Very okay. smart. For, uh, I'm going to do them both of them. First one. Ele- 11. Okay. Good. Roll. Second on. one. Four. Jesus. <laughs> I'm an RP class. Sure, sure. Both knives, ting ting, off of the forever free, freeze, freeze, f- flash freezer. Jesus. <laughs> but do- doesn't seem to budge out of his hands. He snarls at you and keeps moving away. Snacks, you're up. I just start running. I'm going to use double mind movement, which mm-hmm. is part of my class. Sure. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 5, 10, 15, 20. 25, and I am going to um, follow Antarctica's uh, lead and swing the bolo in the air and throw it at his hand and try to knock it. Great. Just the Great. same. Go ahead. Oh, garbage. Because it's late, you get advantage. Oh, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is, but it, I actually do because it's nighttime. It's nighttime, yeah. Six that time. Wow. <laughs> Wowzers. <laughs> It works. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, six was just what you needed. Six was just what you needed. <laughs> big, big hands. Really big yeah, hands. Yeah. It's a radio <laughs> contest calling rules. I got an Arctic, I'll loose, loosen them up for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah the combined away. roll was above 10, <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> frosty, <laughs> melted uh, frosty made them a little bro- sleepy. Broke away some of that icy <laughs> armor. That's, 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 that's teamwork right there. It's family. Oh, yeah. Did you guys see that thing? <laughs> It looked like something straight out of a nope. Yum E Lovecraft <laughs> novel. Wow. Wow. Alright guys, we really need to pull this together and wrap it up because we're almost out of puns. <laughs> oh no, I can go for much longer. Just you wait. <laughs> The, both of your foes seemingly vanquished <laughs> with a roll of a six. You collect the f- forever flash freezer. It's a massive contraption, three feet long, glowing with blue arcane energy. It's ice cold to the touch. You know this weapon is valuable to your enemy, and Queen Wendy will be able to trade it to the ice jester for the lives of your fellow adventurers. But that is another story. Tonight, you relish the joys of victory. Uh trudging up the nearby Biggie Hill to light the sacred flame atop it. There's nothing, there's nothing that, that needs to happen now, but Max made this thing, so I'm gonna bring it out. <laughs> Should we move the... I don't there's know. No, there's no more... 
no more game to play, but like I feel bad because I made Max me make this mountain, but I, I don't have any way of using it in that the story. Is, <laughs> is that wait, is that Biggie Hills? That's Big Biggie Hills, yeah. Oh wow. Um, oh, <laughs> so yeah. the four of you walk to the top of Biggie Hills and light the sacred flame atop it, signaling <laughs> to the entire queendom that on this day you have overcome great odds. You have righted a great wrong. And you, you have done so in a tasty, affordable way. Yes. You are proud bunsmen, heroes of Fresh Tovia, and glorious adventurers of the Wendy's Corporation. <laughs> that is your adventure. And I would say to everybody, is it Wednesday yet? Wendy's Day yet? <laughs> Hagua. Let's go home so you can wrap this chicken and bacon. All right. Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> Take a moment to look at this moonlight. And a tear rolls down my cheek as I think about my snake that was shredded before me. But you know what? Where we're going, we don't need sticks. <laughs> we need shakes. Mm. Yeah, that was a reach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just that one. All the other ones are great, but that one was a reach. <laughs> I'll go ahead and gather my things and wrap my chain around my arm and look for my two horse friends as we trek our way back to the the queendom, return to the mantle of my family and look up towards the portrait of my father and placing the chain upon the hearth say, Dad, I did you proud. And in doing so, made a new family. Family. <laughs> that's it. That's, that's it. good. You hear, <laughs> you no hear the discordant voice of your ancestor say, "Family is the greatest gift of all." Hold on, I put these on first. <laughs> <laughs> um, Arctica. Yes. In seeing the tasty Lovecraft beast, remembers. They kind of remind her of the White Walkers from Game of Cones. <laughs> and that she's behind a few seasons. Sure. It's an epic show. Well, it started off okay. <laughs> and she goes and takes a long sabbatical and net snacks and chills. Nice. Nice. I'm all out of puns, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I ran out about 25 minutes ago. <laughs> Um, I can't thank you for enough for coming on this crazy journey with me. This was something. <laughs> it was something. Matt had a great time. <laughs> we all had a great time uh, because we were surrounded by by friends, by family, by uh, by the weirdest <laughs> the weirdest one shot we've no, done yet, but certainly yeah. exciting. So many puns. So many puns. So many puns. Wash my soul clean. Remember? Man, you, you brought it. Oh, yeah, it was great. You brought it. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh man, no, thank you. It was so fun being here with y'all. What was it? How long has it been since Critical Rejects? Like. Years. Uh, years. Yeah, years. yeah years. I was like, yeah, wow. We were and still on the Felicia's bedroom set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. And now look at us, all grown up. <laughs> <laughs> all thick, juicy, style. Thick and juicy. <laughs> thick and juicy. Boom. Here's it. Boom. Hey, y'all remember me? All right. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm happy to be here. It's so fun. Yeah. It was uh, like, yeah. you know, it was, uh, you know, uh, Good to be around here, Sam. You were fun, real Thanks. funny. You'll have to come back all... for something slightly more sane. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, slightly. You know. But thank you for trudging through this this corporatized ayahuasca trip. <laughs> 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 we all walked through tonight. Oh, yeah. You know, okay. Uh, you, you know, but we're stronger. We're we stronger. Are. We're, we, we're are. Out, we came out stronger. <laughs> I'm so full. Uh, I <laughs> ate so much. Uh, I think more than everyone. <laughs> but, you know, that's what it's all about, right? Mm -hmm. Gotta keep up mm -hmm. the nuggets. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, special thanks to our friends at Wendy's. Otherwise, we would have had nothing to do tonight. And they gave us this great opportunity. You can check out the Feast of Legends module at 
bit.ly slash Feast of Legends or bit.ly slash Feast of Legend. Uh, thank you to Marisha Ray, Liam O'Brien, Matt Mercer, if he, uh, Wadi Way. And uh, thank you to you all for joining us and, and sitting back with some Wendy's of your own out there in America or wherever you are in the world. Um, although probably America if you were eating Wendy's. Yeah. <laughs> um, and thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next week for uh, a regularly scheduled yes. Critical Role adventure. Um, until then, uh, have fun, eat right, and <laughs> <laughs> love you all. Bye.